Okay, so today's run is going to be, the goal of today's run is going to be killing Colmy with polymorphine. Now, some people are probably like, how is that even possible? How do you kill the final boss with polymorphine liquid? And the reason it's possible, here's Colmy right here. If you scroll down on the wiki GG, you actually see uh, the effects that grabbing an orb has on Colmy. So for example, at zero orbs, Colmy has 1,211 health. At one orb, Colmy has 1,660 health and also now gains like a shield and it kind of explains a little bit about it. So if you go all the way down to 12 orbs, at 12 orbs, Colmy will have 257,938 HP. A lot of HP, considering he started with 1,200. <laughs> it's going to be a huge... He's going to be much thicker. Um, now, once you have him at this amount, 257,000, he gains a material vulnerability to polymorphine. It's important that we do this at, exact, at exactly 12 orbs, because at 13 orbs, the, the material vulnerability changes to chaotic poly. But the goal for today's run is killing them with just regular polymorphine. So uh, there's going to be a, another trick we have to do, though, because just killing them with polymorphine and just 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 polymorphine flasks, I guess, because that's the only other way you could really get a large amount of polymorphine is just using flasks. That would take too long. So there's also fungal shifts. So fungal shifts, what they do is they take one material in the world and they like replace it with another. So if we can take a super common material, such as water or acid or lava, these are these are pretty common. You see them all over the, the Noita world and replace them with polymorphine. Well, then we can really do something because there are lots of spells that give off water and acid or lava like, you know, no, lava, not, not so much lava, <laughs> but water is obviously a really common one with like water trail. You could turn it into polymorphine trail, things like that. So for today's run, we're going to get the boss to 12 orbs and then we are going to um, use this. So this is going to be the one thing. Usually I don't like to use this. But since this is my first ever attempt at killing a final boss with uh, like polymorphine, we don't want to leave anything up to chance. Because you could get crazy unlucky and actually delete polymorphine from your world. So to remove that possibility of happening, we're actually going to be using the Noit Noitool. Which uh, if you don't know what, what this is, I can always link in the chat for you if you're interested. But... What this does is we're going to use this right side here. So this stuff right here is, will tell you like shops and perks, but we're not really paying attention to that because uh, I, I enjoy like, you know, kind of coming across stuff, making decisions on the fly. But what we do care about is the fungal shifts. So using these, we can anticipate what's going to happen with the fungal shifts. And particularly the one that we want to pay attention to is, so this is the first shift, right? This is, this is shift number one. This is shift number two. Shift number three, shift number four, shift number five, shift number six. The seventh, the seventh shift is it takes acid from the world and converts it into steam if you do no flask. But if you hold a flask, it will turn acid into whatever you're holding in that flask. Meaning if we hold a flask of polymorphine, acid will be converted over to polymorphine. So the seventh shift will be the key to allowing us to go crazy in this run. And if you're curious how we already know the seed and stuff, we are playing the daily run today. So uh, I believe it was Test 60 was the one that already already grabbed the daily run seed and looked it up for us so that we could see see how we're going to do today's, today's challenge exactly. Uh, there are other shifts that are shifting into the flask, but converting like silver, brass, and copper into polymorphine you know that this isn't going to be the greatest shifts but acid on the other hand we can work with acid so that's going to be our goal here what is ominous liquid you will see it is a it's a dark purple liquid that uh like you know hurts quite a bit it hurts a lot why not convert them all to poly well in that case we'll have a lot of poly in our world i mean we can if you want we can definitely you know, convert those to poly as well. But uh, the key one is that we want to do the seventh shift. So let's get into it, chat. 
Let's get into it. We will not be doing the shifting portion of the run until we are all set up. Um, there's no reason to do the shifts very early, other than it will just make the run much more difficult. And that's, you know, I don't want to take well, too much risk. YouTube, if you see this, it's official. Uploading to YouTube as Dunk's measure of a great run. Also, you're officially Dunk's favorite, even over Dunkbot. Dunkbot may be muted, but Twitch chat will hashtag never forget Dunkbot hash two points. <laughs> Even TTS just cut him off. <laughs> All right, so let's make sure we are on the right daily. And today's daily starts with Unstable Teleportadium, which is a kind of a, a weird start. Pretty odd one. Thank you, Roy, for the bits. I appreciate you. If you guys don't know, Roy actually comes from the YouTube community. So we got some overlap between our YouTube peeps and our, and our Twitch peeps. Let me try to move the mic in a way that's not right over the keyboard. Otherwise, you're going to have to hear that key pressing in your ear the whole time. Classic daily RNG. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool start. Pretty interesting. Even TTS knows Dunkbot 2.0 will never happen. That, that was not why I cut him off. But yeah, as as I go along, if you seem like I'm, if it seems like I'm giving a lot of details, because uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys already know the information, I will I will try to be thorough in my explanation so that the YouTube peeps can can follow along and get a general understanding of the run. But uh, again, the goal is that we we are going to have to get 12 orbs right, at some well, point in this run. See this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. So might as well grab one now. What's up, Plant Game? Thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate you, Plant. Oh, uh, what's up, Michael? Michael says, so many viewers, lol. It's cool to see you grow so much, man. Love your content, Dunkey. Oh, thank you, Michael, for the kind words. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you for the love. We are just getting started on today's daily run. And it, again, this is my first time oh, this is my first time ever trying to kill the Colmy with polymorphine, so it could go badly. I mean, honestly, it's going to come all the way it's just going to come down to the end of the run, right? Cuz the rest of the run should be pretty standard stuff. It's just trying to pour polymorphine all over the final boss. Seems like a risk. Well, thank you there one intervention. It says awesome content. Thank you, thank you. The goal is to get a flask and get some water right now, because I, I do not want to waste my unstable telly. That's a pretty good flask to start with. So if I can, I would like to get water, and uh, then I don't have to play so afraid. Burning. Abhorrent says polykill. Yep, yep. Going to be my first ever. Polymorphine the liquid. Now, because sometimes whenever you say polykill, people assume you mean you're going to like Polly the boss. Also, YouTube, since Dunk will never ask you to do it. Right, bro. I'll ask if you have Amazon Prime and have <laughs> never stopped by Twitch. Daddy Bezos gives you five dollars a month to donate to Dunk. Just click the link and use that Prime. Is this the part where chat says like paid chatter? <laughs> paid chatter. Hi, Thank YouTube you, Roy. Type. Twerk friend in the comments and Dunk will favorite your comment. Don't do that. <laughs> that was, who was that last one? Who was that jokester? That was Zerzo. Just a prank. Thank you, Roy, for the kind words. Thank you, Zerzo, for the support. I appreciate you. Getting all set up here. Yeah, the beginning not having water is a little bit of a pain, so I would like to get that as soon as I can. Got a test 60. He said on his daily run he found a blood flask towards the entrance. Uh, we're already so far over here, though. I'm just going to... See if we can get lucky. Today's daily has lots of flasks. Really wish you guys could see That's what I like to hear, Nacy. That's what sweat. I like to hear. Dale Cake with the Prime 2 month there says primed and ready. Appreciate you hitting us with that Prime Dale Cake. Thanks for using it here. Thank you, thank you. And for returning for the second month. Whoa, a lot of a lot of polymorphine. It's a sign. It's a good sign, right, chat? It means there's good things to come in today's run. Oh, what I was gonna say is I got I got a little distracted. Whenever you say poly, like killing the boss with polymorphine, and I guess I'm saying because I usually think this way, that I think that they mean like they're gonna polymorph the boss and then kill them. But no, we are literally gonna kill them with the liquid. The liquid 
turns into like similar to the player when the player touches acid it burns the player it'll become like that but for Colmy. and i should have been over there when that was burning i messed up that is likely what ha so this this formation right here that coal formation has a hundred percent chance for a chest to spawn in the oh, middle I really of it wish you guys could see this um, guy right and now. one of the most common right. drops out of a chest is just gold so likely what happened there is gold probably fell out of the chest and then it just expired which isn't like a big deal but it was a waste how does that work though what do you mean how does it work how does how does poly burn colmy so because colmy doesn't get polymorphed the, the liquid when it hits them just uh normally you know on any orb amount besides 12 orbs any orb amount it just hits them and does nothing it doesn't polymorph them it just, it just, it's similar like to the character sitting in water. It does nothing. I mean, it puts you with, water stains the character, but it doesn't hurt you in any way, right? Well, usually the boss can just sit in polymorphine. It, it doesn't really phase him. But once he, once you have 12 orbs and only at 12 orbs, it will actually, um, it'll burn him. It's a temporary effect that he gets just at that orb amount. Let me go ahead and pour this out somewhere, somewhere safe. If I was you, I'd put polymorphine juice instead Just of polymorphine. Got my second win. Oh. Then immediately blew this daily in the mines from sheer hubris. <laughs> About to fungal shift my water and acid flasks as punishment. Wish me luck. <laughs> Good luck there, Tetra. Thank you for the bits. Why though? Like, what's the purpose for killing Colmy with uh, Polyjuice? It's more just fun. There is no special achievement or anything that I know of for for doing this. It's more just just because we can. I've never done it before because I mean it is just like an extra like thing to do. It's not really any specific purpose to it. Oh my god! It actually, damn it, on fire. Look, luckily we have oil, so we just dunk ourselves in oil. Puts out the fire. I, I want to get to, like, water, which there is a good amount here, I guess. I just didn't really want to use my really terrible digging to get it out. There it is. Alright, well, I avoided that for too long, I guess. That's what, you, that's what you get for waiting too long. You burn a lot of your HP away. That's a good amount of HP. Kind of scary because there's two of them. I killed one. Rude. I just wanted to just murder this guy, that's all. Come on. What is he doing? Come back for him in a bit. Yay, water. Did you know if you kill the boss with Polly, the eye puzzle changes into English? Hey, I won't rule it out. I've never done it before, so... Really on that copium for that one. Oh, I really wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is How's he not getting stained? There he goes. He took his sweet time dying to that. What's up, no lava? Sunday is my birthday, so here's a present for you. Wait, is that how that is supposed to work? <laughs> Apparently, no lava. Thank you for the tier 3 15 monther. And yeah, I, I've had that happen several times where people are like, it's my birthday, and then they gift a sub, and I'm like, so I got something for your birthday? I guess I'm like, I'm like the little brother in that scenario. Cause I, you know, like whenever families have like, you know, multiple kids and like you have the younger one that you have to give a gift because like they see the older sibling getting one and then you're like, ah, this, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna cry if he sees the, his older brother getting something. Hey, this never happened to me. Yes, I'm a younger si sibling, but I wasn't a, a wild child like that. Oh, I really wish you guys could see Well, maybe it happened and I was unaware as a little kid, but. Ooh, that's an interesting chest right there. 
You're like Cartman in that episode where he needs a present every time Stan gets one too. <laughs> exactly. Wait, but yeah, that is okay. That is me in that scenario then, I guess. Because I'm getting gifted the tier three sub. No lava. Early happy birthday. It is this Sunday, you said, right? So his birthday. Uh, wait, let me think. It is Thursday. Friday's the 14th. 15th is Saturday. So the 16th is going to be No Lava's birthday. Let me get some water going. Hmm. Yo, what's up, uh, brother? Brother Dump? Brother Dumptus? Brother, thank you for the prime. Thank you, thank you for using it here. Sorry, I was having to hydrate. All that exercise I got today took it out of me. Post a pic of your ID and address to prove right, it's your birthday. You see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. <laughs> Sounds reasonable. Ooh, you know what's interesting here? I'll show you something. So this is a this is a puzzle. Let me show you something. Let me murder this guy first. Apparently there was two of them. Zach Wavy, thank you for the gifted sub. Yo. Thank you, thank you for the gifted love. Yep, Infinite already knows. Infinite Sunrise already knows that he's going for that. He's going for that lightning stone. Going for the thunderstone. You know it. Where was it at though? I already lost it, honestly. <laughs> it was somewhere over here. My memory wasn't so garbage. Chat, where was it? There it is. Never mind. I don't need you, chat. I know exactly where it's at. Oh, shit. That's a risky one. Ping pong with that. No, no, no. Let me in. There you go. All right. Whoo. <laughs> A little yikes. Okay, I tried to grab it. My inventory was full. Smart. Alright. That would have sucked if I had just like... Just committed like 100% and then I realized my inventory is full. And dead. Okay, so what I wanted to show is that while this puzzle, you got to think like a noiter, right? And the puzzle is like showing you, hey, there's electricity pulsing here on this box. And there's you see this thing here with a little lightning on it. So, oh, this box must have to go here. But the reality is you just need to electrify this box. It doesn't matter how you, you do it. That's just the goal. Electrify the box. So a little electric stone right there also does the job. Tuh. A flask of polymorphine. Really? Really? Well, we are going to need that at some point. Just not right now. So uh, scam didn't really solve the puzzle. Well, the idea was you had to electrify that point. They don't really say how you have to solve it. You, you solve it however the heck you want. Hmm. I'm gonna swap that over our terrible digging one. I think it's frustrating. Is that that blood flash you guys were talking about? That solution is rather shocking. Alright, don't be proud of that one. You should be ashamed of that one, actually. Hmm. Go ahead and leave our a little thunderstone here. Over in the corner. What's the game plan? We are going to try to kill the final boss with polymorphine, the liquid. Which is going to require a little bit of a journey because we have to get 12 orbs. Basically, we just have to get strong enough so that we can set up 
a 12 war boss kill with like polymorphine liquid being the, the killer. That's my focus right now. Just getting strong. Pretty much like every Noita run, right? Like, it's very rare that you have some kind of... I mean, I guess if there's a challenge like a pacifist run where you can't kill anything, then yes, that affects the run from the very beginning. But most runs are kind of like... You're doing some late game thing. So the early game is always just get strong. Just become powerful. And that's, that is, you know, my goal right now. It's no different. Just trying to get powerful. Let's go ahead and put this missile wand in the ceiling so it's not dangerous. I'm wanting to hold on to the torch. I think that uh, having a way to access the, the heart in the dark cave is pretty important right now. For a long run like this. Oh... Another polymorphine flask. Let's grab the ambrosia one. Who is over there? Ooh, he is sped up to no. Don't do any attacks. Don't do any attacks. Ooh. It sucks. I think if he goes over here, he's got a his head. I think when he walks under this, may end up burning that away. Uh, one thing I wanted to point out is we actually had a seed our last Noita together session. So these potion rooms, there is a very small chance that you could get like a healthium flask in here. So it's important to always glance through that and even check through the flasks that are that got broken or laying on the ground because the, you know the fire dude collapsed that area. But yeah, we had we had a healthium flask um, about two weeks ago, and in fact, I even wrote the seed number down. If you're super interested, I believe this was it two eight two. 3078203. So yeah, that was uh you actually see a shop in that one with the healthium flask. It was sick. I haven't seen one of those in so long. Oh, and then Jeb even posted it in the chat. Oh, thank you, Jeb. Jeb was on that shit. He had it. He has the seed right there. Was that Noita to get uh, Noita together? Yes. So that's what made it so crazy because it, you know, the seed had healthium for everyone. It just was a coincidence that we we're playing Noita together. So we got like super value out of the the seed because we ended up where all players had a healthium flask. It was it was crazy. This is where I wish I had the the missile wand. This missile's much easier to deal with that guy. Get here another torch. Go ahead and keep this torch wand. The ironic thing about the that noite together was that we didn't even need to use the healthium all the way through since everyone was doing so well. Yeah, yeah, like uh, that group. That was a large group that made it through. And then the run after the healthium run was the one where the forty three players survived the hardcore win. Which so it was back to back, just two wild noita moments. You never know what's going to happen when you're playing Noita together. It's just it's just craziness. The Noita gods put out that night. <laughs> yeah, they they did Omni, they did. Definitely uh somebody, you know, somebody was on their good side. The, it did not start that way though. Cuz it started out we had a rough day of Noita together. We were just losing over and over. One of the roughest days we've had in months. And then it turned around and ended up being like Noita history was made. Come on now. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Yep, yep, I knew I was gonna mess that up. He hit me with both shots. I think that's a double lightning. Uh, that's where you like to hold on to the missile. Did they already do both lightning strikes? Yeah. The missile is so much easier. You just aim and just blast them while. TNT, you gotta kind of like arc it just right. I'm mainly being lazy. If you know, The smart move would be go back, grab the magic missiles, then blast them. Would be the smart thing. I believe that's an explosive right there, right? Yeah.
I don't have nearly as much gold as I would like, but it's enough. It is enough. Ooh, a heart. Gotta make sure to get rid of all these explosives. Our health isn't very high, so... Gotta be cautious. There's a frog over there. I don't trust you, frog. I don't trust you one bit. So, that's the only heart we found in the level. The other heart that we have is from the orb. There's a pheromone flask. We kind of need the pheromone flask. Thermo flask will allow us to sell wands if we need the extra gold. But I also don't want to let go of anything else. I guess we can let go of the tablet. Tablets is actually a stupid thing to let go of if you if you are good at tablet kicking. I'm pretty shit at it, but I mean, I just don't. It's it's just a it's an amazing item. It is it's something that should be nerfed. I feel like because it's just too good. Tablets are kind of like you I mean you can be in the in the ultra late game and just one tap enemies with a tablet. Which is kind of extreme. How am I going to get that? Got an idea. It didn't even attack fast enough. Suckers. Um, there may be another orb or two on this, but... Oh, he killed himself. I don't know if it's worth the trouble. Let's go ahead and move forward. Just because I, I played too sloppy. If I had extra health, I would... I would risk it and dance around with these guys for a bit, but why why risk? I mean, there's, there's no reason to. Maybe one extra heart in there just from the, the dark zone, but... All right, let me close the... All the betting is closed. Let's get back to the gameplay. Get back to the action. We have our heals. We have this stuff. Yeah. Hmm. That's our damage wand. So this wand is kind of cool if it was a non-shuffle, but it's a shuffle, so it like ruins it. Part of me wants to hold on to it on the rare chance that like we get the no more shuffle and can fix the wand. But the other part of me is like, ah, just just sell it. Sell it in the and get some gold for it. Let's go ahead and do a roll first. Always cast buffed after the patch. Yeah, it has been buffed. It still isn't really worth it. It's just RNG as hell, but... Do shifts continue into New Game Plus then? Yes. Shifts will carry into New Game Plus. Once a shift happens, if it's a really bad one, you're stuck with it. I mean, the only thing you could try to do is more shifts trying to fix the bad shift but this could maybe spiral out of control and get really bad. Isn't that one? Uh, isn't that one that got more views? The one with your provoking uh, thumbnail picture? My provoking thumbnail picture. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what the heck are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> are you saying like provoking as in it's a really good thumbnail, or are you saying that I was showing some skin, seducing the viewers? Uh, I think both of the Midas runs have really cool thumbnails. Violet made both of them, and her thumbnail making skills are <laughs> way better than mine. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and sell some of these wands. And what we're going to do, to sell a wand, you just need to pour out some pheromone. As long as you weren't showing knees. <laughs> gotta, get, gotta show some knee. Some kneecap that, that, drives, them, that drives the viewers crazy. It's probably a little bit too much pheromone I pour, poured out there. I got a little carried away. Uh, Alright. Sell that. Get some good gold. Sell that. Some more gold. We're getting 200 gold per. So both of these are essentially free. Because while you buy it for, what was it? I forget what the number of price tag on it was. I wasn't paying attention too much. You just buy it, and as long as it's below 200 then you know you're going to get your money back. Same goes for this one. However, I think we may actually hold on to this one for a bit so we have something to, have to hold those bombs. Or...
Damn it. I keep throwing it in the ceiling. So the reason I choose this spot specifically for pouring out my pheromone uh, is because the ground is very flat. If your ground, if the ground is lumpy at all, you need you need to be able to pull up a decent height of pheromone, and the ground has to be perfectly flat. The most ideal spot. I scoop up some of this. Does green plasma dig the brickwork? Yes, it does. Watching stream, so we'll probably be angering the gods in a little bit with this plasma. The more ideal spots would be like over here, like behind this this statue, for example. You could pull up the pheromone, not use nearly as much, but the, the ground is not perfectly flat. It's very lumpy. Same goes for this area here, very lumpy ground. And uh, I mean, you, could, you can flatten it. You can usually try to shoot or do things that just kind of flatten out that ground a bit. But sometimes there's like a single pixel of, of like, you know, lumpiness to the ground. It just becomes a little frustrating. But keep in mind, perfectly flat ground like this with some pheromone pulled up makes it really easy to sell wands. Go ahead and grab this heal. Part of me wanted to put off, but I thought a little bit of a risk. And you know what? Since we since we grabbed the we grabbed the heal early. No more knockback seems like such a lame start. Oh well. Not terrible though. Oh yeah, chat always gets mad at me because I do this. Fuck. Uh, let me try to fix it here. You pour. You're supposed to pour your unstable telly or whatever liquid into the arms, and then now you can just kind of jump into his arms. Oh, I'm failing it. Okay. Okay. Damn it. Where's his arms? Come on, do it. What? Doesn't he normally hold it better than that? Do I need to push it on its side? I guess I could. I could have swore that we left it like this before, though, and we actually could access it every time. I don't remember dumping it on its side. Oh well. You. Lay. Lay over. Dang, all this, like, teleportadium is, like, flying out of him. Alright, here we go. Alright, well, there it is. <laughs> Showing off the strats. There's a way! There's a vroom. There's a way you can get him to hold it, and you can you can move your character into it very reliably. I, I, I'm trying to think of the angle, why the angle is so crappy there. But There's a way. I'll have to think on that later. I'll, it'll probably come to me. Alright, so we have the, uh, the unstable telly here. Pretty basic wand stuff. I could move this onto my wand here. It will give me a pretty good burst of damage. Hmm. Yeah, sure, we'll do it for now. Huh. So this is unstable telly. Remember, it's going to yeet me around randomly. We could use the green ones to dig out and have a reliable exit, but... I figured for now, since our wands are mad and all that, like, we'll just kind of throw ourselves into the level. Later on, though, you don't like to do that later on because things are a little bit too dangerous in, like, snowy depths. But here, it's usually not too much dangerous stuff. Not too often you're going to, like, appear right in front of, like, an Uko or some crap. Always cast Giga Disc. Huh. Let's move that there. Oh yeah, I so I should have the muted command, shouldn't I? Did I? Did I disable that? Maybe I disabled it. Should be on right now though. But yeah, it is muted so that the YouTube peeps don't get hit with uh, like any mutes for the uh, for the because whenever I throw the the vod or the the clip of this run, because if anybody doesn't know. For the YouTube peeps, if they're curious, yes, there is a, there is a Twitch crowd right now for this run. So we are doing it live. Fuck it, we'll do it live. Chat, say hi. All right, God damn it, chat. Hold on. Any non -de non gens say hi. All right, now you're all... There you go. See, there's some highs. Look at that. There is a respectable community member right there. Hi, YouTube. Oh, then we got a, we got a hi, a yo. See, we, there are some normal ones. All right, YouTube peeps, don't go completely judging all of my Twitch peeps. Not all of them are degens. 
There you go. Holy shit. Okay. Well, there's there's a lot of them. Thank you, chat, for saying hi to the YouTube peeps. Appreciate you. God damn it. Uh, but anyways, we're doing this live, and uh, I have to mute uh, some stuff in the channel so that we don't get, uh, you know, the VOD muted, because then people on YouTube will just hit, will hear silence for like five minutes, and we're like, why is it at this one point there's no game sounds or anything? It's like, oh, the VOD got muted because of DMCA stuff. Whoops. There is something over here. I think it's, is it over here? This is where the nest was, right? Oh snap, they're saying uh they're saying there are this today's fungal is very dangerous. Today cuz we're we're on the daily run and apparently it is a very dangerous fungal. That's a that's a classic though. So it makes the fungal so fun. The risk. And the reward. Damn it. I don't know why I'm struggling so hard to find a route. Uh, if you're curious, uh, right above the, the nest is a common heart or chest spawn. And it doesn't look like there's anything there. In fact, I don't know what... What is that liquid? What the hell is that? I tell like the molten gold oh <laughs> it was gold that melted I didn't even notice yeah hmm. for a second I thought maybe it was Midas too I was like Midas hmm? you know you can configure your audio in the way that all dunk bot sounds will go to other audio channel and because of that they will not record it on vod yeah the problem with that is like you hear it's like having a it's like listening to half a conversation and i don't want the youtube peeps to miss out on anything like if they're if they can't hear part of like what i'm talking about or like responding to the sounds or context right Solidify that gold. Or that gold dust. Aww. Let me in. I think we're good. Eh, we already have plasma beams, so. Dunk, what are you doing? What? What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm guessing you're gonna say something ridiculous, like you should have scooped it up and then bungle shifted streamer. it. Hello, BK. How you been? Thanks for the five, man. Yo. Sure. So why have you muted us? Wait, what? Sure. So why have you muted us? Just explained that, didn't we? <laughs> what? You're just using an excuse to not hear the agoos? Yes. It is nice having the weeb silenced for a bit. Don't lie, I know you're happy to. Was that some chaotic poly in there? I swear I saw some chaotic poly. I think I'm just losing it. Yes, there's some chaotic poly right there. Or unstable poly, I mean. I am happy, yes, see, Fig's happy. Take that. Take that. Take that, weebs. Reading chat is like hearing half the combo. Reading chat is like hearing half the combo. Well, that's why I, t that's why I, tr I tend to read aloud instead of reading it to myself and just responding. He's trying to include anybody who's just listening in on the conversation. That's one thing I've, I've kind of struggled with uh, several streamers out there that, that they are active chat readers, which is a good thing because I like I like it whenever, if you're watching a live stream, you want somebody who's kind of like interacting, right? 
but some of them don't read the comments that they're responding to aloud. So they'll just kind of like say like, oh yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. And you're just like, wait, what? Yeah to what? So you're forced to like read chat if you want to follow the conversation. Grab this. Zombie says, sounds are context, yet you mute the chat, but keep the weeb silent. Sounds are context, yes, but sounds are DMCA-able context. So we have to remove it so that, for example, if we played it on a different layer, and somebody played a specific sound effect, and then somebody says, oh, what was that sound from? And then I'm responding about where that sound effect comes from, somebody watching on YouTube would be like, what the fuck are they talking about? They would have no idea what sound they're talking about. Like what? Like they did, they would have, they would understand nothing. So the whole conversation, I don't I don't know what's so complicated about this, but <laughs> the whole conversation would make no sense to them. That is why it is muted. For now. Behaye. Behaye indeed. <laughs> what's that sound from? The ranting. That's from my mouth. here all right so there is wait what where'd he go no your brother owns a copyright so it should be fine <laughs> to be hidden heart Always check the coal. Boohee, did I do it, chat? Nailed it. Boohee. Chief, Salted Bread, Sneko, Kuba, BK. Thank you guys for the support. Appreciate the generosity. Honk, 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 honk. I don't speak duck. I apologize. Oh, there he is. I was looking all over for him. Ooh, goo, we love you. Oh my gosh. He just died. <laughs> Omni, thank you for the bits. I didn't know I wasn't following. Oh, I feel you on that one. Uh, what was that? Uh, Kaizen? Kaizen, I, yeah, I, there's a lot of channels that I watch regularly that I don't follow because... I don't know, I, I don't really use my follower list as much. Like, everybody browses Twitch in a different way. I tend to, like... I mean, I use my follower list a little bit, but I tend to look for games specifically. Like, obviously, I'm always, like, pulling up the Noita section, seeing who's on, playing some Noita, and then from there, I just, you know, because... I, I, I guess for people who watch, like, really popular games, like, if you're watching, like, I don't know, League of Legends or Fortnite or some shit, it's probably more crucial to use your follower list since there's like a billion people streaming that don't let him fool you youtube dunk is the biggest weeb out of all of us that's not true that is definitely not true that is false webster mods ban him for dropping false information how dare he i'm five percent weeb tops I can name three bigger weebs in chat, and two of them are solar. <laughs> I like that joke, Madam Mad. <laughs> that was good shit. Cole, you wanna play hunt? You wanna play hunt? Cole, do you wanna play hunt? Sneko does. I'm a YouTube viewer, but I thought I was following, so I thought uh, you don't stream often. I stream, usually I try to go at least five days a week. I try to. I think I'm pretty good at it. Now, my, my, my schedule in terms of timing, I am running a little bit late to stream from time to time. Every once in a while a little bit late, but I'm usually here. Just late. Drop that off. 
But oh, what I was gonna say is for those big for those big games, you can't just go to the game section and be like, oh, you know, who's on right now? But for Noita, since it's a smaller game, I usually hop in. There's like, you know, at most like 10, 15 streams. I'll be like, hmm, who do I want to watch? Like, who do I want to check on and see what they're up to? And then I just jump into the channels that way. Now, when Noita breaks into the ultra mainstream and takes over Minecraft and Fortnite and League of Legends, well, then, then I'll probably need to rely more on my um, follower list. <laughs> when? Kappa? No, Kappa. Come on, man. I wish Noita was still in very active de development for that reason, uh, not because of lack of content in Noita, because, I mean, Noita's got the content. I am really happy with the bug fixes they've been doing, that, that's that been badass, but in terms of content, it's got lots to do, lots of fun shit, and, and you know, more than enough for it to be worth the purchase. However, when a game is actively being, like, developed, and or, like, stuff added to it, that usually helps with the... Like the lifespan of the game. Not that it guarantees it or anything like that, but it's just it just it keeps new guys coming in, I feel like. That is as likely as that Dunkbot 2.0 would be releasing sometime soon, Kappa. How dare you? You're shit talking both me and Noita. So double how dare you, Lucas. You disgust me. Champ, if you wanted to check the my wands at any time in a run, you can always type exclamation mark wand or exclamation mark wands in the chat, and it will actually pull up in your browser. It pulls up this screen right here in your browser, so you can check out my builds. That way, anybody can jump into a stream at any point and just type that in, and they know exactly what uh, kind of craziness I'm running. This build right here is a pretty simple one, though. Alex, it took me three minutes to figure out how to buy bits, but yeah, I'll hop on Hunt Showdown. <laughs> Wait. It's Sneko. Is CDN's coal? Is that what's happening here? Is that, is that what uh, the TTS bits have become? They're like a matchmaking system? Hey, I'm all for this. I profit off of your matchmaking Sick system. Hop in call. <laughs> Alright, I can't tell if they're trolling at this point. Ooh, that's that's a huge find for us right there. Hmm. Let me go set this up. You guys need a third? <laughs> yes, they're falling for the new matchmaking system. You better watch out, you guys are gonna give like triple-a business is an idea they're like wait a second we could charge a dollar for matchmaking every time they use it and they'll pay it excellent <laughs> we're gonna be rich then they'll put the dollar matchmaking the fucking loot boxes the pay to win my soul is crying just thinking about it I'm playing Minecraft right now, and I heard the uh, he sees shotgun rack, and I jumped. I can't quite do it with my mouth on, on that level. I can get closer to the Minecraft uh, or the the creeper. I only I only stuck around in the Minecraft uh, world for a bit. I mean, I'll, probably one of these days I'll return to it to play play more Minecraft, but. You do learn to fear that that creeper, like the bomb sizzle. Little tss. That shit gets pretty scary. True horror game feels. Loot the mer! Loot the mer! Thank you for the uh, the twelve monther. Did I shout out Plant Game for the gifted? And Rev Jesse for the six monther? Wait, when did all this stuff happen? I was looking away. Rev Jesse, thank you for the half a year of support. I appreciate the love. Thank you, thank you, Plant Game. Thank you for the gifted Luthamer. Thank you for the one year. Luthamer, that's one of our... It's, we, I was talking about how, you know, uh, you go to the Noita section, you choose a Noita streamer since it's a smaller community. It's like you're able to, you know, 
you can just use the Noita section as a way to follow peeps. And there's one of our, one of my fellow Noita streamers right there, Luthamer, stopping by. Always glad to see another Noita streamer around. Next is I'm not a super fan of the, the full head cosmetics as they take up two layers. Yeah, um, I was kind of resistant to adding them initially. Mitsu is the one that added them, but they have definitely served a purpose. They've opened up uh, poss certain possibilities for cosmetics in the channel. It's been nice. Three-layer cosmetics win. There may come a day. There may come a day. Blow up already. Alright, so... The Circle of Acid. We're gonna go ahead and grab this. The one thing I'm a little nervous on is I feel like Circle of Acid doesn't function properly whenever it's shifted to another liquid. I could be wrong. Um, sea of Acid, on the other hand, will work, I believe, properly as, like, Sea of Polymorphine. But I think the Circle of Acid doesn't work right. You know what I mean? It's supposed to go, psh, and, like, expand out. Um, once it, once it's tr tr transformed over to Poly, I don't think it, it expands out correctly. But we'll, we'll see. We'll see. I'll go ahead and buy it now. I could be wrong on that one. I haven't really done a lot of science with that. Buy and try? Yeah, we'll get to it. Give it a slurp. Maybe the devs fix that. I don't know if it's like a fixable thing. I think it's more of like a, the mechanic of the spell. Like the spell would have to be reworked. I don't think it's a bug. I think it's like functioning as intended. It's just a, a, an effect of how they, they went about it. Could be wrong though. It could be like specific materials that don't allow it to expand, but like polymorphine, maybe polymorphine still does work. And I was just unaware because I've never tried to make a circle of polymorphine because what psycho would? What psycho is like, yeah, circle of polymorphine, exactly what I wanted. You? Well, this is the first time ever, okay? There's an exception. Do it. No, come back. I love you. Some more pheromone. This wand is so cool. This wand is very basic there, Robin. It's literally just fireball orbit and a spark bolt. It's on a shuffle wand, so it doesn't matter the order you put them in. It shoots it randomly. However... We talk about meta progression in games, and I always talk about how meta progression is dog shit. Which, I'm finding out is a little bit of a hotter take than I thought. I thought most people were in pretty much in agreement that, that meta progression is meh. But I'm finding out that there are quite a few people that actually really, really aww. That really, really like meta progression. I'm like, what? I guess we're just different kind of gamers, right? Different kind of gamers out there. But I hate meta progression. I think it's bullshit. And, uh, I mean, it can be done right. Like, Binding of Isaac is an exam example of, of how it's pretty much done in a really fun way. But most games are not done in that same manner. Anyways. There are a couple spells, or... There are there are some spells in Noita that are unlockable. And in that sense, that that is a form of meta progression. But the reason I give Noita kind of a pass is because... I mean, I'm sure I've had you've heard this rant like 50 times before. But the reason I'm bringing it up right now is uh, one of the unlockable spells is Fireball Orbit. This is probably the one exception in Noita to... It's an unlockable spell that can have a pretty damn massive impact on your... Um, on, like, your future runs and stuff. Like, if, for example, let's say this wasn't the daily run. Wait, I got this from a chest, right? I got it from a wand in a chest 
on today's daily. Daily will still sometimes give spells that are that require unlocks. I'm not sure if this fireball orbit would have showed up. It will show up if, if it was in a shop. If it was in a shop, then it would show up regardless of if you've done the unlock or not in a daily run. It was in a, on a wand in a chest. I can't remember what the daily stuff. Divide by though? Nah, divide by's like if you need divide by's, you usually are going to go through the trouble of how you get a divide by. It's like the same for the Greek letters. Greek letters are very good. They make you they allow for you to infinitely shoot black holes, infinitely shoot heals. But if you're going to if you're going to use that, you usually go kill the alchemist who drops the Greek letters. So you do the thing that would that would have unlocked it in the first place. So that's why it's like whatever. However, in this case, this fireball orbit, we have not killed the dragon, and there's no scenario you would have killed the dragon already. So we are using it in a, in a moment that you would not have had, had access to it yet, I guess is what I'm saying. Kind of weird to explain, but I'm just saying that this is one of the rare scenarios that an unlock could have a massive impact difference on your run. And, and I don't like that part so much, but it exists. I think Hades has some of the best meta progression of any roguelite out there. Chat, do you agree? I know we have tons of Hades fans out there, so I'm guessing that's probably not a hot take. It's probably a pretty pretty good take, I, I assume. But I haven't played Hades myself. It's unlockable. How do you even unlock it? It feels like I always had them. I haven't done that many things in the game. Uh, if you killed the dragon at least one time in the history of your Noita life, uh, Fireball Orbit can be in your future runs. I'm a little nervous of that robo dude. Seems to be contained. Please stays that way. Come on. It's the part where you die, friend. Uh, wow. Interesting wand. Too bad it increases the recoil when casting spells is the always cast. Yuck. <laughs> yep, Hades good. Hades strong. Hades does what I just mentioned. It's, it's a toggleable, a toggleable, granular meta progression and a ton of different difficulty settings. Hmm. Oliver says I've played almost every roguelike. Uh, it's Noita. I fear the moist. Noita mob. is greater than Hades. Hades is greater than Gungeon. Uh, in 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 his in Oliver's books, this is what about y'all? So I've watched Gungeon, I've watched Hades, but I haven't played either of them, so I don't get an opinion. Noito is the 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 roguelike that really taught me what roguelikes are all about, you know. And then since then, I've branched out, and you know, I've spent several hundreds of hours of, in Isaac, and uh, I played like Spelunky and Spelunky, Spelunky one and two. Um, I'm trying to remember all of our we've played we've played quite a few roguelikes and we played quite a few of those vampire survivor likes as well and those those are plagued with with meta progression the vampire survivor likes it makes me rage I actually mainly blame those vampire survivors games for my strong hatred for meta progression and that's that's probably mainly because like a lot of them are made really quickly like a almost like a quick cash grab you know oh fuck i could hurt myself pretty badly there need you to die okay we got rid of him Isaac was my first roguelike uh, over around seven uh, years or so. So I, I actually had played Isaac before, before I played Noita and all that. and But I never really super dove into it. I just remember watching um, Lethal Frag playing it and thinking the game looked real cool. And, and played a, a little bit of it, but I never really like dove into it. It's like a game I was familiar with and and all that, but I never like learned like this is what a roguelike is kind of stuff. Noita was that game for me.
And then I went back to to Isaac. Shoot posting says Isaac is how I found you. One day we'll we'll probably return for a bit of Isaac. Don't go thinking that we've completely abandoned it. It's just you know, I got burnt out on it. We spent like I don't know, 500, 600 hours in Isaac. So then I was like, you know what? I'm going to step away for a while. Noita has always been our our game that we return to. Noita is the game that ruins other games cuz it's just just too good. Nothing does it like Noita. But Isaac's Isaac's meta progression did not bother me at all. They had a fun meta progression, not frustrating. Well, there's frustrating moments, but not that just because of like frustrating of you want to progress and you're fucking up and all that. It's a challenge. Uh, but like the vampire survivors, like uh, all those kind of games, oh, really their meta progression right is so damn brain dead. It would be like, oh, you've played our vampire survivors like game for one hour. Now you do two extra damage. Oh, you've played for four hours. Now you do four extra damage. You're like, what the fuck? And the thing is, though, people are like they didn't gate it behind time, but a lot of them you could you could just do calculations and see that they literally timed out. How long does it take to get this amount of the points normally? Okay, that means that after they play for, you know, two hours, they'll get this bonus in damage, which will help them get further, which will make them think they got better. When in reality, they're still dog shit at this game. I hate that kind of crap. Oh no, flash thrower is lining up to do some stuff. The fact that you have beat mom like five times in Isaac, you have to beat mom like five times in Isaac to unlock the rest of the game was really a pain. You, there were little things. There definitely were little moments that were a little bit like much or whatever, but like there were small tweaks, I guess, to, to be made. That's true for any game, even like even some of the best games out there. There's always like small imperfections, I guess. Uh, ooh, look at that. That's a heal. He's a heal. Nice. But in general, I think they do it one of the best. Show your games most played uh, games on Steam on your profile. I want to see them hours on Dota versus Noita versus Isaac and other hentai games you're hiding. Other hentai games. Is there a way to even sort by like your most played games? I never even uh, noticed that before on there. I usually have to like click the game specifically and see the hours. Uh, but I have two accounts in Dota actually, so like combined, it's around ten thousand. It's a, I think it's a little over ten thousand hours. But on this account, I think I have somewhere around 5,000. Dude, there are, there's a lot of poly and crap in today's run. Profile and games. Well, remind me another time and I'll definitely check that out. One of the times I never were just kind of goofing around. I think I'm going to move out of here. I think at this point, it, just hanging around is literally just risking it for the fun of it unnecessary risk okay in enter the gungeon uh, you don't buy incremental damage or HP just unlocks new stuff uh, unlocks new stuff to happen in runs for keeping it fresh so that's kind of like Isaac right which I mean like I said if, if done correctly gungeon must have did it decently because it is a pretty popular one one that's brought up a lot So I laid down my telly flask earlier. Huh. We don't need pheromone anymore. This is exactly what I liked about Noida. Every lose is on you, and you're the only one to be yep. in charge of what to do. I always yep, yep, yep. felt like the other rogue likes were always wanting you to do this, and that in that order, so you don't get punished by the meta. Yeah. It, well, with Isaac, for example, I remember watching um, other people play it, and just being like, man, they're just so much better. Because, like, look at these crazy runs they get going, and oh, I'm over here just struggling to get a little baby run going, you know? But then as you play Isaac, you learn, well, no. Because, you know, when you first start out with Isaac, this this and this is for, they did it well. And so I'd say even Isaac has, like, small tweaks, right? To, that is imperfections. But even for the one that's done it, like, the best to have some pretty decent oversights is, like, man, the ones that do it poorly 
They really suck. But with Isaac, it was like, okay, how do they get these good runs going? Then you unlock stuff and you realize, oh, like you can have it where Isaac starts with a perk reroll. So that's a huge advantage. And and then like that now your run starts spiraling out of control much faster and, and all that shit. Uh, so yeah, I think Noita does it. Yeah, I, I love the way Noita does it. Damn it, I'm, I'm really struggling here because I'm going to go ahead and just grab the teleportadium that we left laying around and that'll be what we keep. So I, I, I want to mess with that flash thrower, but I don't want to risk death. Gungeon stream would be amazing after Calamity is over. It is true, guys. We are coming up on the end of Calamity. We will have 100 percented Calamity. We are all, the only thing that remains is the boss rush, which chat says is gonna be apparently very rough. Does anybody remember where I put the teleportadium? Play Nova Drift again? Yeah, we we did only visit it that one day. I haven't made a return. Why are you saving the heal? I could use it now. I just like to. I, I'd rather use it like for an emergency. Way right, all the way right. Okay, all the way right. It is. Can't wait to get a toxic no sign on the boss rush. What? How toxic of you? Hmm. Need to get across. Play Wall World. I have watched a bit of Wall World. Solar linked it to me. If you guys don't know what Wall World is, uh, it just came out very recently. It's like Dome Keeper, but it's like, it's like another take on Dome Keeper. It seems pretty cool. You know, it seems interesting. But I haven't decided if I want to dive into that world. My man running around with 30 HP with the fireball orbit talking about emergency heals. Is it vertical dome keeper? Yeah, that, exactly. It's like a vertical dome keeper. They got a more, they got a bit more going on than that, but I mean, there is a very strong comparison between the two. Vertical dome keeper. Dome keeper was fun. Yeah, I was really happy with my dome keeper purchase. I think it's a solid game. The my one oh, my really one thing with it is that like right now. He is just the kind of game that it was, while it was replay very replayable. It was kind of like one of those games that I I feel like I just replayed it a lot right right when we first tried it out. Played it you know spent a good chunk of time in it, and then once I spent my time with it, kind of just was easily could put it down. It was just like yeah I had a, had a blast with it. Glad I bought it, but it's not like Noita where I'm always like wandering back into it but again not many games are like are built to be like a noita right oh my god did my it broke didn't it well that is lame i blame you for that chat it's your fault how dare you break my flask walked all the way back for that broken flask ah <sighs> never deload a flask yeah just go up? Just go up? Why do you say just go up? Just go up. We have we have a luminous drill, so we can always uh, dig back into the previous levels or you know do whatever we need to do. Anything juicy? Eh. Rip flask behave. Rip flask. Rip flask indeed. And these perks are terrible. Nasty. Look above, uh, it may be there. The glass was shattered. You could see the glass laying there. It's just sitting there. Can you check out Enter the Gungeon after Terraria? Do you need Mob Psycho treatment? <laughs> I am on the third season of Mob Psycho, though. I've, I'm only a couple episodes in, but... Begun the journey. Uh, I don't want to do any vampirism. We got too much HP to waste on that shit. How, how are we looking wand-wise? What are we looking at again? I got a the heavy spreads kind of interesting. I'm still not going to grab that health yet. 38 months of being ignored when I resub. Oh, shit. Party invite show. Thank you for the raid. Sorry, I'm in my own world right now. 
Chat Stoneforge with a four month there says nice to see the new YouTube content fixed my sleep schedule so I don't catch as many streams. Hey, I'll, Stoneforge, I'll make sure I pass the message on to my brother. Oh fuck, wand experimenter or permanent shield. This is early enough that wand wand experimenter's value is massive. It's just permanent shield is so nice to have. I gotta grab Wand Experimenter. It's just it's just too good to turn down. If it was later on, I would agree with you, chat. Shield is like good forever, right? Shield's good now, shield's good later, shield's good always. Wand Experimenter is only good until we have like once we have a heal, then like Wand Experimenter is pointless. But I, I this run is about getting the win. And we gotta make the move for the dub. But yeah, Stoneforge, I'll make sure to pass the message on to my brother. My brother's been the one that's been helping me get those, uh, po posting those YouTube videos and all that shit because he wanted to make sure that our YouTube community didn't feel neglected. So, I'll, I'll say that uh, Stoneforge is appreciating you. Thank you for the four monther there. Tucson John just said, said hello with the Prime 38 mon monther. That's why he said 38 months of being neglected, being ignored. I'm sorry, John. I'm sorry. I hope you're doing well. Hope life's treating you well there, John. Good seeing you. Bro cares more about Dunks, Peeps, than you? No, that is... Come on. He's just helping out. He's assisting. Uh... Well, this is all kind of bleh. Save me doing a refresh. And some terrible stuff. Whew. Uh, okay. I guess we'll just do this for now. Boom. Thank you. The reason I went ahead and did uh, dug our way out this time is because remember our te our unstable tele flask had broken. So I figured whatever, we'll just have a consistent path. It'll be fine. There we go. Have a good exit. Well, you know what? We can leave that on there for now since we have throwaway ones. Mixu says people don't sub to you because they have a shadow ban fetish. And <laughs> they want to be ignored. Ignore me, I need this. Could have healed with the wand you bought. Oh, that's true, I did waste the potential heal from it, didn't I? That was a little silly of me. Hopefully it won't be we won't come down to that. In fact, I have this heal now that I can throw away. Not throw away, but I mean use it pretty. Like. What's the word I'm looking for? Frivol frivolously, oh, I really wish whenever you guys we'll see this bust guy it right out. Now. He is drenched in sweat. Generously. Uh, come on, burn away. Only high with the 29 month. Or what's up, only high? Is almost time for anniversary sub. It is time. Thank you for the 29 months of support. I do appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Some mists. Man, it would totally suck if you got killed by an Uko right now. Why would you say that? Are you jinxing me? Is there an Uko nearby? I can sense him. Chat's bringing up Ukos. That means somebody died on the daily run right here. They feel my death coming too. Ooh, look at that. That is a, a pretty special wand. I want it. Could you make a poly mist? Yeah, you could, but I don't know if you could make a poly mist that works on Colmy. Well, there, yeah, you could, you could. There's a couple different ways I know you could, but there's one method specifically. I'm not sure if it would function. If you could, if you could grab the toxic sludge, 
missed toxic sludge. So there's toxic sludge, and then when you have the toxic sludge missed, you have to hold the flask out and fly into the mist, and we'll grab a unique version of toxic sludge that's specific to the mist. So for example, if you convert toxic sludge into poly, well then if you fire the toxic mist, it won't it won't have a poly effect. You need to specifically fly into the toxic toxic mist, hold your flask out, you'll get that unique material. Then if you could somehow convert that unique material into poly, then it makes that toxic mist into a polymorphine mist, which is, you know, that that, that method's a lot more complex. Uh fuck. This gonna be what's this gonna do here? It's not gonna be what we want. Um Hmm. Good morning, good morning there, sir for Shaq. Get that out of here. It's just the odds of the the actual spark bolt getting the one that we want is too low. If you're holding a flask with multiple liquids in it, does it take whatever the most liquid is in the flask? Yes. So whenever you hold a flask, it will tell you if there's multiple liquids. The one that's located to the far left um, will be the one that's the most plentiful. So that's the only one that's affected if the flask is chosen as the shift. Hmm. You know what we could do? Nah, it's too inconsistent. Just go with this for now. Oh well, it'll do. You have multicast, yeah, but no, all of them have spread. I'm like, eh, don't have to deal with that. I will grab this one. We could use this for a heal, so what I'll do is I'll drop this stuff on the ground. And I'll pick up the one that I want, and so this is still a heal if we need it. What about the third wand? You know about this one here? It's not enough capacity. It, it's almost a good wand, though. Almost. Good morning from Sweden. It's 8 a.m. here. It's Friday. Yo. Happy Friday to my Swedish peeps out there. It's only Friday in Sweden. Nowhere else, guys. Nobody else is allowed to celebrate. You're still stuck on Tuesday. It's actually 1 a.m. on Friday here in Texas. So, still that Thursday night vibe going on. Vyout says, oh yeah, it's Friday. I want snacks. Chad, did you get your Friday snacks? Roomlet forgot hers. I hope you brought extras for her. Eleven PM here in Portland. Damn, really living in the past. Nine AM in Turkey? Dude, I almost had some kebabs just today. And when I think of Turkey, I always think of, uh, uh, there's a place nearby called Istanbul Grill. And they make the best fucking lamb kebabs. They're amazing. I need some right now in my life. Get some baklava with it. Mmm. Mmm. It's the good stuff. West Coast, Best Coast. Well, I think you can safely say West Coast, Best Coast because uh, all the East Coasters are asleep. Maybe there's a there's a D-Gen or two around right now. Ooh, 
Ooh. Baklava is amazing. It is. It is, it is. I'm I'm East Coast. You are the East Coast. You represent the whole coast. That's impressive. I am the East Coast. Stale bread says Midwest. Midwest, fuck all of you. Midwest, best coast. <laughs> ah, the Midwest coast. One a.m. is DJ and baby sleep schedule. It's not one a.m. on the East Coast. It's one a.m. here in Central. Well, it's it's later over there on the East East Coast. So there's a hidden heart. If you haven't taken notice, it's glowing right here in the wall. Well, I don't know about glowing, but I mean, I moused over it earlier and kind of gave away that there is one hidden there. The way I knew to check is because this formation is, uh, some people call it the Lego hand. Uh, it looks like a little, little Lego hand. And uh, in it, there's a chance for a heart or a chest, but it happened to get the, um, this spawned right on top of it. So it kind of hid the heart that spawned with it. Give me my heart. Cough it up. It's mine. Hello? Is it gonna... There it goes. It's gonna delete that pixel or not? Mmm. Dunk is heartbroken. Give him heart so he can recover. I'm heartbroken. Run's going pretty good, actually, heart, heart wise. 345 HP, and we just barely have gotten into snowy depths. Not bad. Can't complain. Oliver says, hope y'all having a lovely 2 a.m. I hope you are you are too there, Oliver. Eh. Nothing of interest. Sorry to hear about the divorce. What? I'm divorced? I didn't even know. Don't you hate it whenever your divorce is... Uh, you find out about it through Twitch chat. It's rough. Did you tell your wife? Well, apparently, uh, you got married and divorced. I was unaware. Premarital divorce? <laughs> ah, that old thing. I've been hearing about that. <laughs> Premarital divorce. Also known as a prenup. Huh? <laughs> you never... <laughs> Never heard of a prenuptial agreement? That's uh, that's whenever you're like, hey, I'm gonna marry you, but sign this paper. You ain't getting any of my money if we get divorced. <laughs> Water says, oh God, not prenups. I'm still looking for my future ex-wife. Don't worry, she's out there, anyone please. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna let the bomb wand go. You. Yeah.
Chase isn't allowed to keep any of the curvy spider assets. <laughs> what the fuck? Chad and their weird... Listen, don't... So the YouTube peeps, don't listen to them. They're just fantasizing about some shit. Let them be. When is it sunrise in Texas? Um, shit. Well, we do the we do the whole time shifting thing, so it kind of moves around. Well, it, it already is, over time moves around, and then they like do the hour. They, it shifts an hour, so then it kind of it's kind of jarring. I want to say sunrise probably happens like six twenty or so, six thirty. He is nocturnal creature. Don't ask him about sunrise. Well, I was trying to think in my head when I usually start to see the light in the windowsill. <laughs> like, yeah, around 6.20, 6.30, I start to see notice some light over there. I may be off by a bit there. Sunrise is in like five hours from now here in Texas. Yeah, that'd be, that'd be 6.15. Yeah, sounds about right. That sounds about right. <laughs> Spark timer. Roel says 6.59 sunrise in Dallas today. Oh really? So it's pretty much 7. A little bit later than I thought. Yeah, we could do a bridge boss with our... I would like a homing, though, to really set it up nicely. Real nice. Probably want the, to grab that spark timer. In fact, I'll go ahead and grab it right now. Yoink. I think there's a canister right here. Yep, there is. It's not wise to go shooting canisters like that, but I have decent health right now, so I'm kind of feeling a little frisky. Taking some risks. Heal? Uh, I guess, yeah, that one that I dropped. We might as well just use the heal with it before we go abandon it. Good call, chat. Good call. Pick it up. Shoot it once. We're full health. There we go. Yes, better sweating. They're not sweating. They're like, we got this shit. Easy dub. Oh my god. Kinda close to that canister there. Chill! Our damage is a little bit of a joke right now. That's where we're slacking. Where we're lacking. Feeling frisky is just pre-throwing. <laughs> Ugh. Wait, what? Frisky is just pre-throwing. Can you play a little more dunk-like, as in cautiously? I mean, I think my health bar is pretty damn cautious, right? Ooh, that's a nice find. We needed that. We needed that shit. Uh, fix my headset. Teleports will really help out a, a lot in today's run. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm just joking with you, Fig. I got you. I got you. Just goofing. How does he have so much HP with Fireball Orbit? It's called being a god gamer. Write that down, kids. Let me drop this temporarily. Wait, is that is that a pot? Is that the heart formation? We think I would never forget those, but I always forget them. No, it's the wand formation. I always mix those two up. 
Wasting the heals. What is today's run? We're going to attempt to kill the final boss with polymorphine liquid. The boss has to have 12 orbs to do this. But let's not mess it up. Oh, come on. No, 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 no. No, you don't. Okay. Oh, my God. The multicast is killing me. How is that possible? Get that off of there. Alright, how does that look now? This could be kind of interesting. Yeah, it's more what we were looking for. Not bad. Uh, we can hold on to the returns for a bit. Probably should have healed myself before I went editing the wands. I don't know why I keep doing stupid stuff like that. Uh, we're, we're healed up now. It's fine. It's fine, it's fine. All right. All right, back to the action. Let's get back to it. Um, we should be good. New guys in the corner puking his guts out. Like 0. 0.5 and 0. 0.8 stats wise. Yeah, but I'd say because of triggers being like kind of I don't know, would you call it meta in, in Noita? Uh, it, 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 it works pretty well with, with triggers and stuff. Because you can get like glimmers and then like a heavy spread and you're just like, you're good to go. Jeff says Frosty for Twitch is decent on mobile. Yeah, I've heard of people using like alternate, you know, Twitch apps instead of using the actual Twitch app since it's known to be so crappy. So there you go. You may want to check out the one that Jeff is recommending. Could save you some, some headaches. <clears throat> Low tech, thanks for the follow. Drain Lord as well. Make a lightsaber wand. We probably will be soon because we do have ping pong and luminous drill. Kind of just lacking that one wand that I'm like, ooh, this will be, you know what I mean? Like, this will be the combo. We have the spells, not the wand. Oh, and there's a worm. Whenever you're dealing with one of these worms, you kind of like to get them to catch fire, because then he burns so fast. When you can. Burn! Burn, little worm, burn! He's almost dead. Did he drop a heart? He did not. Damn it, worm! You had one job. To cough up a heart. You failed me. Keeps burning underwater. Yeah, it's because uh, because of the way that the worm digs, he like deletes material, so the water isn't like getting the chance to like put it out the put out the fire, I guess. This guy's very annoying because he's so resistant to explosions. Hey, wow. Oh. Get him out of here. So I drank some worm blood after we killed that worm. Gives us a little bit of wormy vision. Uh, can I get through this? Yeah. Speed up. I'm interested. Hello? Go drowning in there. Alright, we cast this. We should get a, a heal from it.
And then now, while we have the wormy vision, we can see in the dark. So we'll use this time to grab the orb out of here and maybe find something nice. Maybe, maybe. There can be heart mages and stuff in here. Give us a huge HP boost. Oh, there's a floating wand. You do not want to see that. Because it could have something deadly on it. Did we get him? We did get him. What do you have? Uh, nothing too crazy. Hmm. Is it possible to explode from mana overcharge by consuming too much mana liquid? Uh, yes. You talk about when you drink the from the flask, right? The mo concentrated mana. Concentrated mana does fill up your stomach. So if you drink too much, you can explode. Your st if your stomach reaches 200%, you explode. If it reaches 100%, uh, after that you start to move slower until it drops below it again. Oh, that guy's going to take forever to kill. Let me do this real quick. Put a little bit of ambrosia on me. Because that guy doesn't give a fuck about explosions. So we're literally having to kill him with spark bolts. Could you potentially scoop up Toxic Mist Liquid uh, for Shifting Poly? Toxic Mist Liquid for Shifting Poly. Yeah, like the, yeah, you, you have to hold out a flask and fly into it. And then from there, you'd have to get a fungal shift to take place that... For example, if you converted water into toxic, uh, toxic mist, toxic sludge mist, it's what I forget what the mist is called, but it's that liquid that's in the toxic, uh, the toxic mist. So you'd scoop that liquid up, you do a fungal shift and replace like water. Then from there, you would need to do another fungal shift that replaces the transformed toxic mist into poly. So it's kind of like a chain of, of shifts that need to take place. But it can happen. Are you kidding me? He's still alive? Ridiculous. Your vision is timed? Yeah, that, that took way longer than I originally wanted to. Whoops. We are going to run out of time soon, and it's going to be much scarier. 20 seconds left. And then... Ah, we didn't quite get there in time, and now this guy's here. Oh, he's burning. Ah. About to be thrown into the darkness. I don't know if there was any heart mages in here, and I'm too lazy to look. We'll just grab up the orb. Heart mages are not that uncommon of, of a spawn in there. There's a chance if I explored around, we'd find one. Uh, we're gonna dig our way back up in a second. Ooh, that's why I went down here. This shit right here. Two ad manas? Yo. Double rainbow. Did you guys just dust off like an ultra old pasta? That's like a three year old po copy pasta in the chat. Fell for it. All right. Uh, I guess we could use up the last of this stuff.
Oh, it's a two cast. A little frustrating, but can make it work, I think. Oh, wait, no, the always cast. It's going to ruin that a bit. Darn. Hold up. We can repair this wand if we have to. It's a six cast. Yikes. Let's just go grab a better wand. It'll take us like probably two seconds. All seeing eye. Extra perk. Chat, what would you guys grab here? Hmm. Wish we didn't already go through two mountains. She also says eye, eye. They're leaning for gas? Gas if we were doing early shifts because that one, that one shitty shift that's going to take place. A lot of people leaning towards the eye. Yeah, you're probably right. Especially in the, the temple area. Probably be pretty important to have the eye. Alright, we'll go with the eye. And if we mess up and somehow we die, we just blame the chat. Yes. Yes, yeah, smart, smart. Oh, shit. There's a lot of canisters down there. Blow up those canisters. I'm trying to shoot this canister. There we go. Give it a moment. Imagine if you didn't see those, could have been dead. Yeah, Ishigal's actually right. Those three canisters right there. Oh wait, no, the third one didn't blow. But if, if all three of those blew up at once and you managed to get hit by all of them, he, it would be uh, like an instant death there. Because they do over 110 damage each. Would be brutal. Ooh. What the fuck? That is. That's something. Take this over that. Glimmer, sure, <laughs> kind of weird. Did I not cast the wand that would have could have healed me? I'm not smart. New guys in the corner, Got wand experimenter, proceed to not use it. Don't forget that Fireball Orbit actually can delete this vapor that's in the air. So like if you see a cloud of it like that, you just shoot your Fireball Orbit into it. Clear it out of it. Delete that shit. There's a refresh. Where are the wands at? What, grabs wand experimenter, almost not use it? Yep. I haven't taken too much damage so far. I mean, I figure my luck will run out soon, but so far it's been pretty, pretty lucky. No crazy run-ins with anything. Are the wands? Why does this level seem so starved of wands? What's that all about? The reason I'm killing off healers is because I do have wand experimenter, so not really that big of a deal. And I wasted my telly earlier. Ooh, look at that though. I'll probably want that at some point. Yeah, we, we do have a broken wand. I will grab it at the bottom right. It's just been crazy, though, how few wands have been naturally spawning in. Shit. Oh, 
It is weird. Why not ping pong Lumi with add mana on the last wand you left in the mountain? Uh, it was 0. 0.72 recharge. Did we have enough to remove all of it? I guess we probably did with the reduce recharge, didn't we? I wasn't thinking. Youch! That goddamn lamp. Get out of here, lamp! You tried to kill me. You tried to electrocute me. I thought we were friends. Broken wand, here we go. Damn, another small wand. Uh, except this, whoa, this will actually work. This is one of the examples of where you see the mana charge and you're like, no, but we're actually fine because we picked up those add mana, so we're gonna be good. Grab this, we fire it to make sure we get some heals off of this since we've been spending so much HP. And then let's go build us a Pretty thick wand. How did that not break the canisters? Kind of amazing. Another wand. And grab that too and heal from it as well. I was like, where's our route out of here? Thought maybe we lived there. Okay, quad. I don't know what we're gonna do with this quad. Guess the double is out for now. Drop those on the ground. Add mana, add mana. We only need one of them, but it'll put two there for now. Ping pong, luminous drill. So if you had, to, if you had just um, just the luminous drill. Lumistral cost 10, add mana cost 30, literally just that, that they offset each other. So you have an infinite Lumistral. By putting the ping pong on there, now we have some serious digging going on. And then I just put the extra add mana there just because it, we, we don't, we want to free up as much inventory space as we can. We can use this to go back up, no problem. We could put the damage up on it, but then we have to deal with the kickback, which can be a little bit frustrating. Hold up. Yes, we could put the glimmer on there. You like that? Or Twitch, that pur the purple, the, the, the purple's the Twitch uh, branding color, yeah? Definitely planned it. Of course. Uh, so, Fireball Orbit, you're getting retired. Uh, we've refilled up our inventory. That's not good. Hmm. Freeze Charge. You usually don't like to put Freeze Charge on this because it can uh, be a little bit on the laggy side. It's probably not too bad for us right now. But having to deal with all that that it creates, a little bit unnecessary right now. But you could. It's really personal preference, right? Whatever works for you. Dunk is a corporate master. Yes, you gotta, you gotta, gotta appease Daddy Bezos by bringing out the the Twitch branding. That's how you become a Twitch partner? Gotta play the game. Chase, do you enjoy moment to moment Noita combat? Can you break it down? What makes it enjoyable to you? Moment to moment Noita combat. Are you mean like each individual fight? I assume, I guess the reason that moment to moment combat in Noita is exciting is because even the most insane god run can end in a second. You're never truly 100% safe. 
put speed up on there to free up space. That is true, right? We're not gonna really. Oop. You actually see any difference on that? Oh, it's it's the same. I guess because the the natural speed is point. So ping pong is the only thing that matters there. Uh, but yeah, we, the speed up's not doing anything. We're just needing somewhere to put it, so it's not taking up space up here. And I, we could probably even put that there. Yeah, both of those. Th these are doing nothing. They're literally throwaways. The reason we, we're not putting the damage plus is because it will. It, while the damage is good, it will cause like kickback a bit, like this, and that can be a little bit frustrating. But yeah, that, you may prefer that. You know, you may like that. It's really up to you. Hmm. <laughs> that would be funny yeah, if Twitch actually censored morphine, so polymorphine is just poly and it's censored out. Hmm. Alright, I think we're good. Is it no more uh, knockback an enemy thing? Yeah, this right here, no more knockback is um, has nothing to do with the recoil on your wand. It's so that when enemies hit you, so sometimes you'll like be flying around, enemy hits you, and you go eh, and you fall for a second. Well, now when you get hit, your character still just keeps levitating. Like, huh? I don't give a shit about getting hit. That's the that's the value of no more knockback. Add spread for fun. Whee! Problem with the spread is while it is decent for dealing with enemies, whenever you're digging with it, it's very annoying. I love the sound effects you make. Wait, what sound effect did I make? The woo? <laughs> that I wooed? Oh fuck, I forgot to put the speed up back on there. Oh well, no big deal. Does uh, explode detonator deny loomies? Deny loomies. I think you mean like, will it make it so that they don't fly out like that? Is that what you're? Is that what you're talking about? Like, uh... so it's a no. I actually, thought it would affect it in some way. Huh. Good idea. Wait, what if we put it after it? How does that? Not the same. So this is great? Yeah, I guess so. That was a good call. Good call. I actually thought it would affect the uh, Lumis drill. I thought you wouldn't get uh, the distance. So if you stand there and I just shoot... Oh no, they still are firing. Interesting. So they... Explosive detonator. Wait, is the ping pong fucking with the explosive detonator? Huh. Let me try something real fast. So we remove this. Now let's see. Yeah, wait. Some of them are working, it seems. Some of them are not, though. Some of the projectiles are getting eaten? Because some of them aren't? Yeah, explosive detonator is so weird. The problem is it's because it's got like a like a bug or a glitch in it. Like a, and so sometimes it doesn't function as you... It, it's hard to anticipate because of the bug in it. I don't fully know what the hell is going on there with it. I'll put the ping pong back in a second. Let's go over here.
Is it because the ping pong adding lifetime? But I removed it for this. That's why I was testing it right now. The free wand room. Yeah, that's where we're going to head right now. It's a good idea there, Nacy. And we'll bring, yeah, we'll bring the purple back. Get our branding going again. Purple, you're back on there. Um, yeah, I don't know about the whole... I mean, explosive detonator in general is good. It's just being a little bit funky. Being funky. I just realized we need the deal. Does it mean you take your own fun away when you take explosion immunity or HP glitch? Uh, game isn't as exciting for those uh, for a sudden death. So like from the whole like the risk like things being a risk that does seem like that'd be the case but it's kind of fun it's kind of fun trying to prevent what like doing your best to prevent as much of it as possible knowing that you can't remove all of it you know like some because because otherwise it would just be frustrating imagine like whenever you die to um explosions and there is no explosion immunity those deaths are a lot more frustrating then because you just died it's not like you're like why if i would have had yeah, you know you're just like there is no alternative um that's where polymorphine comes into that weird place where people get very frustrated with it but since there is like there is poly immunity temporarily that you can get which is probably like the best way for it to be because you can never permanent well Normally, there's never really a permanent poly immunity, and if there was a perk for it, then I do think that by allowing you to get 100% immune to all things, that would end up being this kind of like anti-fun. It, it would kind of change the late game of Noita for the worse. But now, it leaves that one last thing that is always a fear for you. Just perfectly, you know, how it should be, I think. No, uh, no downside to having ED on there. Just don't rely on it. It's making me a little nervous, honestly, on the instability of it. In terms of, like, a, if it's going to cause like, a crash or some crap, since I know it errors out a lot. It doesn't error the game out, but it's like a, a bug is happening. Yeah, we will be shifting the poly uh, at one point. Are you going to resurrect a polymage over and over for poly immunity? In this run? Nah, nah. We're just gonna go with the flow. Um. Uh, hmm. Yeah, Nala Fatelli, I think you are right on that one. I think that's the. Oops. What that? No. We need a non-shuffle to put that on before we can do anything too crazy. I gotta say, Wizard's Den in a very late game run gives you semi-permanent poly immunity. You like, uh, just eating tons and tons of, of mages and all that. It is something close to it. It's an interesting mechanic. But I'm just saying, that's at least better than just straight up poly immunity existing as a perk. Then it would be not good. Why is he holding on to the third one? I have no ex specific plans for it. I was just kind of flying around with it. Um... We don't have black holes, so we don't need the Greek letters yet anyways. Oops. Not yet.
Another Admona? Wow. Wowzers. Yeah, the eye room is still there. I was too lazy to dig to it, though. Be a heck of a journey. Grab that in a bit. Are you trying not to spoil? Spoiler ahead, 34 orb, peaceful ending, granting uh, poly immunity. Well, the difference though is that it's the ending, right? You can take it further because of like crazy weird noise of science, but it's supposed to be like an end to a run. So saying like, oh, at this very end of this run, you can get poly immunity, but that's like saying that when the credits roll, you get poly immunity. I mean, this is like kind of a weird discussion to be had for what it offers. Hmm. Back to full health. Uh, triple, sure, put it up. Dunk, why is killing Colmy with Polly such an important feat that it deserves a YouTube video? It's not really like, a, it's just more like a fun challenge. For the YouTube peeps out there, they don't need to be like, oh shit, this is something I need to accomplish at some point in my, no nah, nah, nah. It's just like a fun challenge to do. Uh, there is no in-game achievement or anything like that. It's like one of those things that the devs put in the game that I really never see anybody utilize or interact with this. I, I never really watched somebody, you know, kill Colmy with polymorphine. So I, whenever Vialet suggested this, I was like, you know what? That would be a fun, just a, you know, self-imposed challenge. Because the weird thing is, it's, it's, it's a self-imposed challenge, but it's something that exists in the game that, they, that just isn't utilized. Like, it, it seems like there would be an achievement for it since they went out of their way to add it to the game. Because in no way is a polymorphine kill on Colmy optimal. So it, 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 it has this feel of something that was going to be an achievement or a challenge or it was going to be something more and it just never was. Poly is the key to the eyes. It's the key to the eyes. Honestly, though, I mean, I don't know about the eyes, but I do feel like there was it was meant to... To do something wild. It just never happened. Alright, so we got a poly mage chilling here. Perfect location for him. Hit us twice. Three times. No. Should get a nice increase in our health. We were sitting around like 400 or so. We used the heart mage. And now we are sitting at 2,000. Pretty good increase. Keep in mind that that heart mage trick was... That's the form that the devs left in. Like, they, there used to be a stronger form of it. And then they nerfed it. And the current form is pretty much how the devs were like, Yeah, this is... This is how we want it to be. But it does seem very good though, I know. Do we know yet that certain mobs don't see different symbols when using the poly uh, chat? I have no idea, Treasure Hunter. You're talking about like if you, you polyed yourself and then looked at the eyes? That'd be nuts. You see like a completely different message? That'd be pretty cool. Uh... So our Luminous Drill damage is a bit lacking. It'll be kind of a slow kill on the dragon. So maybe we will toss the damage plus on it. Do 
don't plan to do anything with that. Damage plus. So now we're gonna have a little bit of knockback, but I'm hoping that this extra damage will make the boss fight not so brutal. Now, the, the no more knockback perk doesn't affect the knockback on the spells at all. Like, you can see it's still knocking. This is, I'm not even moving to the right. Like, this is just the knockback of the wand. How fast it naturally pushes me. Knockback, uh, no more knockback means enemies who hit me, uh, they don't knock me down. Like, I stay levitating. You get knocked down. Yeah, yeah, it's like the difference in recoil and knockback. This is specifically recoil. Knockback is whenever you get hit and you fall. This is why we added a damage plus on there, just to boost this up a bit. Uh... Bling. You have Freeze Tentacle, DNK oh. Blind. Oh yeah, I forgot. We could have just one-tapped him, couldn't we? Because it would have been a frozen melee. Insta-death for him. DNK blind. True. Ooh. Short range homing. I like that. Big, bigger homing, I like that more. Chaos Larpa makes a projectile cast copies of itself in random directions. Maybe there's something fun we can do with that. Maybe. So right now, I think we have Big Steve to deal with. Right? Yeah. So when you're dealing with Big Steve, you like to remove the knockback on your wand. You, do, you don't want your character getting shoved back. As long as you can stand still, the Ambrosia is not getting washed off on your character. So you kind of sit here and you can just, even though your damage is low, you can kind of work away on them, you know? But with damage plus, we maybe kill them faster, but if we get pushed back too much, then the Ambrosia washes off. And then we got a real problem on our hands. Even though our health is so high, it wouldn't be that big of a problem. Uh, roll it. Wow, so we can go up to 3,000 HP, or we can get Saving Grace. Huh. Both of them are nice. <laughs> 3k, 3k, saving grace, saving grace, 3k, pick breathless, giga chad. <laughs> There's always one person <laughs> paying attention to something completely different than the rest of us. There's always one. Spark timer, big homing. Plasma Cross. Hmm. The Chaos LARP I'll leave here. I don't know if we'll want something I with really it later. I wish you guys could see this guy right now. He is drenched in sweat. Shove that in the ceiling. We do have that. Good to go. Yo! Who dare? Taugly with a 30 month resub says new viewer here. Is this game so hard or why is a broadcaster losing every time? Still riding that pasta, huh? Okay. Okay, I'll remember that, Taugly. LARPA and Spiral on Lumi. The problem with that LARPA is it costs 100 mana, which is pretty brutal. Pretty rough. 
What we need to do is we need to start gathering a couple more orbs. Because I want to have 12 by the end of this run. Do, 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 do. That flum could have been something. If that was polymorphine, that could have been very bad. Back up. What? Get around the corner. There's the old perks that I left sitting there. Still haven't grabbed them. The old Ad Mana. Heavy spread. we can let go of hmm. yeah we could go for the music note wand we could I like the Pinta I don't want to let that go not my Pinta the reduce recharge for now Speed up for now. Quad for now. Close of detonator for now. And short range homing. We'll be back for a lot of these loots. We'll be back. Hell, we can do the circle of acid. And spark bolt and damage or digging bolts damage plus spiral freeze. Yeah, that's a lot of space now. You'll see why we're clearing so much space in a moment. It'll make more sense. What's up, DJ? We did have one more spot. I could have put the speed up there, couldn't I? Wasn't thinking I so. Probably putting them inside the wall just so that I would take notice to them. So that if they're hovering up in the air, it makes it a little more, stands out a little bit more to me, you know. No other reason other than trying to not miss them. What was that? Just snow? So the speed up on the, the Lumi Drill wand wasn't meant for to actually give speed to the Lumi Drill. It was meant to uh, just just take up space because we're trying to kind of store stuff. Because as you, as you can see, I was trying to clear as much inventory space as possible. So even if you're adding something to the wand that doesn't help it, as long as your mana cost is okay, then it just opens up inventory space. That's, what the, that's why chat was saying put the speed up there. Can add mana take a wand beyond its usual max? I could have sworn I tried that and it didn't work. Yes, it can. Uh, I'll I'll show you. It was probably one minor detail that you messed up there, Alchemy, and I'll show that because I, I I did the same thing too when I first tried with it, but then people in the community were showed me how to use it, and then I was like, oh, now I see how I was fucking it up. It's like a, it's like a minor detail. It makes sense though once you see it. You'll be like, oh. Hey, I know I'm a tiny bit late, but could you reopen the bet because you love me so much? Okay, thanks. I'll make you a deal, Jay. If you set a world record run right now and submit it, then yes, I will open it for you. I reopen for world record holders, Jay. You know, you know that. That ever since you lost your world records, it was just you're just not the same Jay anymore. I miss the old Jay.
shots fired. I try to motivate him. I try because you know when Jay, Jay and Bonfire and then we're pushing the world records higher and higher and higher. I was uh, that's when the speedrunning area was get constantly getting new submissions and stuff, and it's good to see. Good for the life of Noita. Uh, okay, so this bridge boss fight is going to be pretty simple. We're going to shoot this out. Uh, this is going to have a, a plasma cross with homing on it. So this has this has homing attached to it. And what's going to happen, it'll see the bridge boss. It'll zoom into him. And the bridge boss like tries to mirror a lot of abilities. So when the plasma beam cross fires into the bridge boss, he's going to mirror the, the crosses and kind of cast his own crosses on top of himself. And just like this is dangerous and can hurt me, it, the boss will end up committing suicide because it'll, it'll mirror a ton of them on top of itself. So, uh, let's do that. Oh, shit, I didn't clear that corner very quickly, did I? Damn. He mirrored a couple of them. Another? God damn, game. What a monster. There was a reduced spread. Does that count as a kill? That was a suicide. Uh, the boss committed suicide by its own projectile. So we get credit for like the pillars. Like let's say you were trying to get the there's a there's a boss pillar that gets unlocked. That pillar gets unlocked because the boss died. That's all you have to worry about. But for on your pro uh, on your progress menu, uh, where the boss is at. Where is uh, the bridge boss? Bridge boss, where are you? Chat, which one is he? I always mess up these little, these little pictures of them. Uh, is it this one? Third on the bottom. Oh, it's this one? No, that's Colmy. It it's it, it. Okay, so it is this one. All right, it's this one. So this one, it does not go up. It does not count as a kill, uh, an extra progress kill, because the the boss suicided. But I usually don't, um, yeah, I usually don't give a shit too much about the progress kills. Once you have, once you've done, you've got it like the one kill correctly, and it, they're all filled in. From there, I kind of just goof around with my boss kills, for the most part. Um, that is a very interesting wand. So what I'm gonna do. Is I'm going to leave. Let me leave this here for the moment. Grab it in a second. What is this cheating? I don't believe you were never killed by it. Listen, when you're this good, uh, there's many bosses that have never even tasted the chance of killing me. That's what happens when you're a god gamer. Alright? Is he buying it, Chad? Is he buying it? Is he falling for it? Okay, good, good. Um, no. The, the, the progress menu is weird like that. Um, whenever the boss kills you, uh, so... He summons these wands, right? And the wands like fire at you. That's usually how you die. I believe those wands that are summoned in, if they get the kill credit, it doesn't credit it to the boss. There's weird shit like that in Noita where like it doesn't quite give the proper credit like you would expect. So it's just it's just the way that he 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 attacks doesn't properly credit him. That's the reason. Same goes for like the dragon. Where's a dragon at? There it is. The dragon. Look at that. I've I've died many times to the dragon, especially in the in the early days. But there's somehow like the dragon. Whenever the dragon melees you, it doesn't properly credit him as like killing you. It's very weird. But I, it still can get kills on you. I think it's just that you have to die in a certain way. Like whenever the dragon shoots out the the projectiles, I think if you die to those. 
it will credit the dragon, I think, with the kill. But usually people die to the boss just running them over and meleeing them. And for some reason, it's like a, it's some kind of like physics death or whatever, and it doesn't quite credit it to the dragon properly. Maybe it, maybe it does it better these days. I mean, they've been, they have been doing bug fixes and stuff. Maybe with all the bug fixes they've done, maybe they unintentionally maybe fix something like the, that wasn't allowing that credit to happen properly. I don't think they ever went out of their way to make it happen properly, but sometimes you just accidentally fix something. Oops. Okay. 1,800 stream event died uh, every boss in one stream. <laughs> The hell what kind of what kind of idea is this? How many tiny deaths? Tiny, where are you? Where are you? That's not. Where is he? Second from the sec. Second from the right. Second from the bottom. Is, is this one? Is this tiny? So I guess Tiny has the same uh, same rules as the dragon. When he runs you over, which is like his most dangerous thing because it does thousands of damage, it doesn't credit Tiny the kill. If you died to his projectiles, it probably would credit him, but who the hell dies to Tiny's projectiles? Died to a fish yet? I still, unless something happened along the way that I'm unaware of, still have not died to a fish. That's the dream. Only I was good enough to die to a fish. Alright, got the music note wand. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay. So we look in the background, you see the little building. We are uh, decently lined up with it. It's not exact, but slightly to the left of it's fine. And we're gonna try to use ping pong against, well, I'll show you, I'll show you how the uh, plasma beam looks on them. It looks okay at times, but it's not the, the greatest. I think sometimes you can get kind of a nice hit on them. You're gonna notice that the boss is gonna bleed a fuck ton of slime. The plasma beam does that. Slime for days. Watch this shit. So, oh. Eh. Oh shit, I got a little too close though. Hey, don't do that. So you can use this method to kill him. As you can see, it is, it is damaging him. There's a lot of slime that he's bleeding. Kind of makes me nervous honestly where how there's all that slime because all it takes is some kind of electricity move and you're like you know dodging in, in the wrong moment and you get caught in that slime but some of the some of the shots you'll notice they really chunk them like they'll take a they'll take a huge piece out of them yeah but luminous drill directly above them that's that tends to be much faster Ping, ping pong luminous drill, that is. Makes it where you can just stand a little ways away from. Remember, don't shoot from the sides. The hitbox on that boss is too jank. You gotta hit from directly above. Yo, Dunk, I've watched your vids for a while, and this is the first time I've been uh, been in. I appreciate you stopping by there. What is that? Uh, B twice bug? Or is it, by the way, ice bug? Well, bug, I appreciate you stopping by. Uh, we got the wand refresh, which is not supposed to be dropped from him, but uh, accidentally unlocks the Master of Masters spell loot, but we've already killed the Master of Masters in past runs, so we had those unlocked. Alpha, pretty good. Uh, fee's not bad, and I really don't want to... Uh, we'll leave the Omega on the ground for now. Alright, so with our free space, we grab whatever spells are here. Hey, what? Get off me, worm. Omega is trash. It's got, like, certain moments it can be nice, but yeah, in general, I don't like it in most builds. Why Omega is so bad? 
mainly its cost. It's it's pretty damn uh, expensive. 300 mana, cast copies of every spell in your wand. So there are specialty builds that utilize Omega. Uh, Zeta's, yeah, probably like the worst. Well, yeah, yeah, Zeta's pretty fucking terrible. It's got special moments as well. But yeah, Omega, I just don't like the mana cost of 300. It's it's a really a pain in the ass to work around. But there are some really special late game builds. Oh, I really wish you guys could see Let's this guy see. right now. He is drenched in sweat. Drenched in sweat. What the heck? Uh, trying to get to it so I could show you. I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Like this build right here. That is a damage recursion wand that does trillions and trillions of damage with just a couple spells. So that's an example of where you would like the Omega and how it can be useful. But you're not really running this in normal builds. You're not doing a, you're not like, hey, my wand, I need, I need a trillion damage right now. It's like uh, maybe on the third, like 33 or boss kill. But outside of that, you're not going to be using that really anywhere else. Um, Spacer Mug, Spacer Mug, thanks for using that Prime here. I appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you for the Prime support. Just divide Omega. You don't need to uh, pay for it that way unless you also wrap to it. Just, just divide it. You don't have to pay for it. Wait, just divide it. You don't have to pay for it. Does it completely null out the cost? The three hundred mana. I don't know. I don't really do a ton of divide on, on Greek letters, so I always struggle with those. I'm always like, uh, this goes here? What is orb shift and orb kill? Orb shift and orb kill. Uh, Diddy, can you give me some context on that? Does looping with spells to power still work? Are you referring to... Oops. Are you referring to how this right here, the spells to power, gets the kind of like damage loop thing? Because yes, that is the that does still work. Divide by will discard the Omega and you won't cast it. Uh, you only uh, have to pay for the Divide by itself. What about the additional cast delay? Does it still hit you with that, Navi? And in that case, does it give you multiple cast delay, additional cast delays? Where were we going? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Keep saying orb shifting and 33 orb kill. What are those? Orb shifting. Well, a 33 orb kill is whenever you grab 33 orbs in the world. Every orb you grab is gonna make the final boss stronger and stronger. And to give you an idea of just how strong that boss gets, I mean, the boss, the, if you've ever fought, this is the final boss right here. This is Colmy. And he starts off, most times that you see people fight him, they probably have grabbed zero orbs, which means he has 1,200 health. So keep that keep that number in mind, 1,200 HP. One orb, he has 1,600, right? It starts to go up a little bit. As you grab an orb, he gets a little beefier and a little beefier. If you grab a lot of orbs, let's say you go to 33 orbs, he has 528 billion HP. Yes, 528 billion HP. That's why you your wand crafting is going to have to change entirely whenever you're doing one of these extreme boss fights, which is why I was pointing out the whole damage recursion wand, why you would end up doing some crazy shit like this. Um, and yes, we have gone to the tankiest boss in the game. We have gone all the way to the 64 or boss, the 1.1 sextillion boss, the sex number. And uh, this this wand right here, I mean, this, uh, this HP right here can still be one shot by, uh, I think this build right here needs a couple tweaks. Actually, this one may still be fine. I think you may need to use a larger divide by, but yes, the same, the same exact build, uh, maybe with a stronger divide by, allows you to one tap this boss right here. How do you get above 34? So every time you go into a new game plus, it adds a hidden orb. So for example, let's say you went to new game plus, just, just one new game plus, right? So you're in the, you went in the first new game plus, and then you grabbed two orbs while you were in new game plus. When Colmy spawns, 
it will have the health equivalent of three orbs. So uh, if you're in new game plus 28 and you are fighting the 36 orb boss, because you can get 36 orbs, that adds up to the 64 orb boss because it adds the, the, hidden, the 28 hidden orbs plus the 36 orbs that you gather from the world. And there you go. We have done that run. We did that run a couple of events ago. It was it was a long run. All right, can't tell. Okay, so let's okay alchemy. So this is what we we're talking about. You're saying that you you were having issues uh, with making it work. So let me show you something. Uh, I do not have the the twenty eight. Uh, the new game plus 28 36 orb run on YouTube because it was not the most entertaining run. It was like I want to say it was like a 22 hour long run and it was a, it was a rough watch. I do still have my longest Noita run ever saved on my hard drive. It's a 26 hour long run. Probably the longest Noita run done in history in one sitting, at least on live stream. And it still just sits there on my hard drive. That one is uh, the 64 pillar run, 64 achievement run. 64, Chad. Why can't you keep uh, adding New Game Plus to get past 64 orbs? It caps you at New Game Plus 28. Because um, every new game plus that you go to is going to require one more orb. So, for example, new game plus requires five orbs. New game plus plus requires six orbs. New game plus 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 requires seven orbs. So, uh, it goes all the way up to new game. Uh, once you have 33 or 30, 32 orbs, you have 32 orbs, you stand on the... Um, you stand on the the altar it will that's the time it'll take you to new game plus 28 as long as you've done all the previous you know new game pluses that'll be the one that takes you to new game plus 28 and then we gather 33 that one's not going to take you to another new game plus so that's like the final one upload it uh, may, what would be a good title though because it's going to be it's going to be a rough watch i don't know i feel like i get people's hopes up if i posted like the longest noita to run in history and then people are just like <sighs> Like, it's fucking two seconds in, they're asleep. Like, that run was... That run was rough. Title it Tough Run. <laughs> Just, that's all Tough Run. Challenge, don't fall asleep to this. There, now that's an accurate title right there. Uh, trust out. Okay, so watch this. We have the... We have the Admonas, Yes. So let's say we put down a spark timer and, I don't know, a music note, whatever. This music note is inside this spark timer. And let's fire it. Let's watch what happens. It doesn't fire off the spark bolt at all. That is because when the spark bolt is... It goes in order from left to right. When it, the spark bolt timer is first, it costs 10 mana. Well, the wand naturally has a mana max of 2. It can't cast it. But if you put an add mana in the first slot... Now, this add mana adds 30 mana, so that whenever it reaches this spark timer that costs 10 mana, this add mana allows for it to cast. So now, this in this case, it would work. In fact, you could even just do, you could do that. So, this bad. This good. Alright, now. We can... Damn it, we, gotta, we need to go back down to grab all those spells that I left behind. And then we'll be good to go. Uh, go grab that stuff real fast. Because without without my damage modifiers, then my, my music notes are going to do no damage. So, kind of need them. Kind of need those. Here. Then 
never been over here. Spark triggers. Hold up. Please hold chat. I did not know today's daily had those in there. I don't need the rest. <laughs> it's holding. Hold! Hold! Break time at work. Perfect time for a shop behave. What? <laughs> Your slow typing has already cost us a shop before, you fool. You fool. Plant game. Hope you're having a good day at work. Hopefully the Friday is just cruising by, just flying by. And the weekend will be here any second. Uh, Alright, hold on. Are we at the... Nope, still not at the right shop. It's the next one. And yes, we still need to kill the pyramid boss. I am aware. Is that a canister? It was. I oh, appreciate that plant. Appreciate the love. Okay, so, add mana, music note, yes, shoot it, but we want that to cast faster, it's a little slow, so what we're going to do is we're going to put a double here at the start, and then this luminous drill, the spark trigger has the uh, music note inside the spark trigger, we're going to put a luminous drill at the end of the wand, so this double will cast the spark trigger and the luminous drill at the same time. And now we get some speed. However, our damage is still kind of a joke. As you can see, nothing too crazy. If you're curious what the Luminous Drill is doing, it's removing all cast delay, it's removing all recharge. Its whole goal is to speed up the wand. That's all we're looking for out of it. It takes the cast delay to zero, it takes the recharge to zero. It, it, again, though, the reason it's necessary is because you gotta remember, an add mana adds cast delay. That's why usually add manas, you like to have them inside of a trigger or a timer, because they can't add cast delay when they're in that. But, the Cantel, uh, or, hold on. Conteli, Conteli, like, I always pronounce it wrong. The Conteli um, doesn't have enough mana to cast the first spell, so we're forced to put this add mana on the outside. So we're forced to have to take on that 0.17 cast delay. And that's when the Luminous Drill comes in handy because it removes 0.58 cast delay. So it's gonna be a lot of, uh, gonna be a lot of cast delay removal going on there. So we get the speed. Now, the music note needs to be where our damage comes in. So our music note currently does no damage. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put down a 5 cast. And then put down 5 um, music notes. Not the D sharp. You guys hate the D sharp. It says, uh, we'll make it say, Dad. 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 Alright, so we have five, uh, 5 music notes there. But the music notes still don't do damage, right? They just exist. If we put the ping pong there, actually, first we'll add the damage, then we'll focus on that other stuff. Dad, gah. All right, so we're gonna add the damage plus. So like, look at it, look when I hit the statue right now. Little to no damage. Uh, add this damage plus. Okay, I fucked up. Oh, mana cost. Look at this. This is important. If you look at this, it's shake. It's going bam, bam. It's like saying, hey, we don't have the mana pool to sustain all of the stuff we have on there. So, what that tells us is slide everything over, add on another add mana. Now, you can put the add mana on the outside because uh, we'll be fine. But, you know, at this point, we, we only need the one add mana on the outside. From there, this spark trigger has enough mana to cast. So we can put this next odd mana on the inside. That's just for just keeping track of making sure we're not adding too much cast delay to it. But again, it wouldn't, it doesn't really, it's not really that big of a deal. So the second odd mana we can put on the inside so we don't add any cast delay. Even though the luminous drill still would remove the cast delay regardless. Now we do have enough mana. Now we can go back to casting. So we shoot this. Look at the damage 500 damage, 500 compared to before, 15. 15, 15, 21, bring the damage plus back, 400, 600, and then we can even put stuff on there like Spiral Arc, 
which will make the music notes fly all over the place. And you see that 2,300 damage. 3,000 damage, something like that. There's, there's a lot of damage coming out. The spiral arc adds three damage and extends the life. Uh, that is so easy to build. Yes, it's like a little. It's 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 a it's a it's a simplistic build. You just got to understand where the DPS comes from. Where where is the damage really coming in? And that's these music notes. These music notes do tons of damage, and damage plus adds damage to all of them, which is good. Spiral arc adds three damage to all of them, but also spiral arc has a hidden um, modifier that's not mentioned in it, and that is that it extends how long a projectile exists. So if this projectile, let's say, exists for like, like I don't know, three or four frames, well, now it's gonna exist for like 10 frames, thanks to the spiral arc, because it's gotta move in that spiral pattern. This gives it more opportunity to hit more enemies and do more damage. So you get a lot more damage out of these. So while damage, adding damage, obviously is higher DPS, adding lifetime is also DPS when you're talking about music notes. Uh, because music notes, see this piercing right here? Music notes naturally have their own form of piercing, so they don't even need this. They naturally have it, and piercing normally costs 140 mana. This is a 140 mana modifier that these naturally have that is not dangerous for the player. It's safe for the player to stand under them. It does not hurt you. So it is a very valuable form of, of piercing. Okay, so that's where ping pong comes into play. So look how long the projectiles currently stay alive. Pretty good amount of time, right? Ping Pong extends the lifetime even more. So now when we shoot them, they're alive even longer. It's not a ton longer, but it is it is longer, and it costs zero mana, so why not add it, right? Now we gotta grab this. We put that there. How's this look? That's not what I wanted. Recharge time. I know what to do. Where are those digging bolts? There it is. Oops. Looking good. Ah! It burns! We put the digging bolt on there because the digging bolt does remove recharge time. It does add a little bit of cast delay, but you gotta remember that Nala removes cast delay and so does Purple Glimmer. So our cast delay is, is definitely uh, fine. Mm -hmm. Alright, what else we build in here? I have that one quad. I can't even remember where I put it. Is that is that it right there? That is it. Uh, one, two, three, and let's go ahead and put this damage plus on there. Are we okay on mana? How are we looking? Yeah. All right, this is the point where it starts to get a little bit laggy. Let me see if I can take this away from our wand there. How's this look? Ooh, this is fine. So we can use the purple glimmer instead on this wand because egg, <laughs> add egg, nice. So by putting the glimmer on there, you take off some of the visuals that this has, because and, and this this gets this gets a little bit laggy. So by putting the glimmer there, you'll notice that it actually runs a bit smoother when I'm spamming it. it doesn't look as cool. Well, I don't know. Maybe maybe you really like the color purple, and so you may think it's better that way. But uh, our damage is in a really good place. We're we have big damage now. Huge damage. Uh, we can put up this wand. We don't need it. We have a good tele wand. Uh, homing, it's gonna stay up there, that stays there. I don't know if we were even gonna use that. Good. Mister, why haven't you shifted yet? Probably should start doing a little bit of shifting, shouldn't we? Let's go ahead and do... I guess, well, what, what's the... So, Remember, for today's challenge, we are using a tool to know what the shifts are on the seed. I know that's a little bit lame. I usually don't like to do that kind of stuff too much. But this is our first attempt ever of doing this. And there is a chance of RNG where you could delete polymorphine from your world. 
It just it just is how it works. So we had to make sure for today's run we remove that variance of RNG. And the way you do that is by knowing what shifts are coming up so I don't make a mistake and accidentally shift it away. So the first shift is going to take like flammable gas, poisonous gas, fungal gas, toxic gas. It's going to turn all the gases into whiskey. So that's okay. That's not too bad. Uh, so let's go ahead and... And remember, that's the that, that seed tool right there is very easy to find. I'll link it uh, in the chat if you're interested. Uh, and then I'll also, if it's if I if this does get posted to YouTube, I'll make sure that uh, I'll make sure that's posted in the description and stuff. If because you can type in any seed and it will give you information from it. Um, all right, let's do the the fungal shift thing over here. Let's see if we can find any fungus at least. Why do you need to shift? Because we're wanting to kill Colmy with polymorphine, and that's going to require a lot of polymorphine. We're talking like, you know, a tidal wave of polymorphine if we want to kill the boss. Because we're killing him with the liquid. The liquid polymorphine becomes like acid on contact, but it still is going to require a lot of it because the boss is going to have over 200,000 HP. I believe it was over 200,000. We need, we need a good amount of that, that purple stuff. Is there any pouches? Chad, do you, you remember seeing any pouches recently? I would like to scoop up some of this stuff. And if you saw a pouch, where did we last see it? What's up, Thogard? Imagine speedrunning, making sandwiches to answer streamers' questions faster and getting ignored. Wait, what? Like speedrunning, making sandwiches to answer streamers' question faster and getting ignored. <laughs> I don't know what Nobby's going on about, but let me see what he said. Um, hard. Oh, hard to go get some food. I uh, had to go get some food. Uh, read my last message. Here's an example of divide by omega uh, value with stats. Left part trigger, right part. Um, let's see what. It, oh, oh, it was this about the castellay, the additional castellay. Castellay 0.05. Um, wait, what am I looking at? Huh. Wait, it says that it says the castle is 0.42. I'm a little confused on that part. Is that so damage plus? So it's not adding the castle. Trash wand. He was just showing for for stat stuff to to show how the castellay got added, but it did not add the omega castellay, which I guess is what he was trying to per sh show there. Oh, it's because it's inside the trigger is why it's like okay, gotcha. So it would normally add the castellay if it wasn't inside of a trigger. So divided castellay still add castellay. The divided omega is still add castellay, yeah. Fifty-five? Did it? Did it? Was it really a fifty-five percent chance to crit? Damn it! I already closed that tab. Where was that? History. Oh wow! It is a fifty-five percent chance. It does say times eleven, so each spark bolt adds a five percent chance to crit. Eleven on fifty-five percent chance. That's pretty hilarious. That's some uh, some damage. All for 50 mana? Hmm, not bad. 11 spark bolts with 30 damage and 55% chance to crit. That is a pretty... Nobby's, Nobby's trying to show that Omega shouldn't be slept on. I'm, we're, I'm sleeping on it. I'm, I'm, I'm undervaluing it is what he's saying. And you know what? He's probably right. I gotta, I gotta push myself out of my comfort zone probably and start using Omega builds from time to time. So I can think more creatively with them. Why am I going? I'm looking for a pouch. That... Pouch, 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 pouch. There was a pouch in fungal. Uh, bottom right of the main fungal, next to the coal. Okay, that's what I thought. Wait, bottom right? Oh, next to the coal pits. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, gotcha. That's good. Let's go back there, man.
Do, do, do. Divide buys are harder to get than Omega. Um. Probably true, I guess. But they're they're not that big of a difference because once you get the once you get the Omega, it means like you you killed the Alchemist, right? Then you just take the key up to the the area where it gives you divide by spells with uh, for turning in the key because the music boxes are all on the surface. Another ad mana? What? The, what is going on with the ad manas in today's daily? Kind of crazy. What was that? Levitate. That is a ton of canisters. That it guy is about to shoot. Ooh, phasing. This is a fun one with our current build. Uh, hold on real fast. Let me... Let's get a bit of healing there. I went way too far. Music boxes can still be missing sometimes. Happened to me just the other day. Yeah, which just don't forget that Parallel Worlds, the the first east and first west, should have music boxes in them. At least the first east and west. I, I can't remember if outside of that. I, I don't think they do. Um, all right, drop these on the ground. I don't need them. Pass that. Get a little bit of healing. healing why not all right so now that we have phasing phasing costs two mana not too bad so the way these travel around will start to look a little bit weird in fact it may not be preferred pretty cool right phasing is one of those that uh whenever you don't have like the glimmer and all that i think it looks like the best but I guess even with it it's still pretty neat blip, 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 blip. if you're curious what phasing is doing basically phasing is um, causing it's a, before like a projectile kind of slides around right kind of like whenever it's on it just they kind of just glide around where they can phasing is making it where they just they jump they kind of like they, they jump around and um, they do have a longer lifetime too that adds a little bit more lifetime to it And as you can see, they can like jump through walls and crap. It's hypnotic, yeah. It is pretty cool. Uh, put this here. All right, looking good there. I don't know if I'm gonna do anything else with these. Let them go. All right, let's go do a fungal shift. Vialet's gonna be upset with me. He's gonna murder me. Uh, we'll put that pheromone flask up, actually. What's really cool is whenever you have this, so it looks, it looks cool, right? But if you have homing on it, it makes them really useful because they kind of do this little hop around thing and they, they get near an enemy and they like kind of like suck onto the enemies. They'll see an enemy and they kind of just warp to them. But right now they're kind of just running around wherever. And any enemies that they happen to run over, they'll beat the fuck out of them. No homing music? Yeah, no homing. Well, I mean, we have homing, but we just can't really afford it to cast it with all this shit. Wait, what? Do we not have a... Do we not dig a path over here? Give me a break. Well, let me take this damage plus off temporarily because the kickback is going to suck. Okay, this is a bit much. Uh, let me do that real fast. <laughs> Beluga, are you busting out the uh, some lyrics in the chat? 
Says everyone wants to be my enemy. Some imagine dragons. Makes me want to watch some uh, arcane. Rewatch it, I should say. Alright, that was there. This is here. Let's go. After all this time in this run, that's the best digging. Pathetic. I know, right? Where the hell's my freaking black hole? Getting scammed. Pathetic. Oh, there it is, the pouch. Thank you, chat, for your big brain memory, as always. Uh, actually... It already has a fungus in it, too. Lucky us. Brought the damage plus? Oh, thank you for the reminder, you are right. Luckily, most of the enemies right now, they're going to die regardless, but you you are right. That is a significant damage decrease. I'll probably remember in a bit to toss it back on there. Shouldn't be too big of a deal right now. So that fungus right there, we have to eat at least 180 seconds worth, which we clearly ate more than that. And our, this is shift number one. I have to keep track of these shifts because, see, it says whiskey. But remember, we already know... We already know exactly what the shift was because of the tool. It said whiskey, but we know that it was this, all four of these, which is one category, they're like a family. All of them got turned into whiskey. So anywhere that there should be flammable gas, now there's whiskey instead. Anywhere there should be poisonous gas, there will be whiskey instead. So this is shift number one. In five minutes, we can do another, another one. It's gonna turn our blood into ominous liquid. That's gonna be a very annoying shift. Not looking forward to that one, but you have to wait five minutes between between shifts. It doesn't allow you to shift any faster unless you have a mod or some crap. Check the box to keep track. That is a fantastic idea. I just checked it just now. Thank you, thank you. So we're going to go kill some stuff for a bit. And... We need to find a black hole right now. That way we can get to the... Because we have to go to a parallel world in this run. Because we're going to need 12 orbs at least. Oh no, exactly 12 orbs. Not at least. Exactly 12. We still got to go to the pyramid boss. That'll be a that'll be a free orb as well though. So the focus is a black hole. Uh, I still got the damage plus that I haven't put on there. No rush. But I kind of don't want the kickback right now anyways. There's a heal still there. I'm going to leave it for the moment. We can leave that stuff for the moment, too. Now we can leave the damage plus off for just a bit. We are going to move it back on there later. But I figure, you know what? The kickback was getting a little bit old. Once I have good digging, then I can move the damage plus back. It's just the damage plus was causing it where when I dig, it shoves me backwards. So once I have the black hole, then I won't have to worry about using my luminous drill for digging. Oh. That's me through. Oh man, polymorphine up there. Uh get out of here. Makes me nervous. Oh yeah, we never grabbed from here. Uh, I don't know, it doesn't really matter, does it? A little silly. I'll leave that health there too. Bit of lag. Yeah, so you'll notice that sometimes we have projectiles that kind of run run over the enemies. This is where homing is kind of important. The phasing is making it where sometimes it kind of skips its chance at a kill on an enemy, I guess. is Like th this guy right here. 
We need that we need that homing to get it to stay on top of those enemies instead of just bypassing over them really quickly. Also keep in mind if we get polymorphed, we're gonna be in big trouble because there's so many projectiles flying around. There's like no chance that I don't get hit by my own projectile. What is that? Pheromone? Should be fine. Dude, my health is getting obliterated. Explosion weakening curse. I don't think we're gonna need to use that on any bosses or anything in this run. There's an area TP in the Luki lair somewhere if you're willing to go looking. That is a pretty good one. Right now, I don't think so, though, just for the fact that we don't really have the mana pool to sustain. Well, actually, we did find an extra... What did we do with that extra add mana? Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I have to think on that one. Hey. See, this guy should not be surviving all those shots. Have to have that homing. Need that shit. Be curious where we're going to right now. We are heading to the bottom left where there is an orb. One experimenter is like one second worth of uh, burn heal now. Yeah, that's where now if I could go, if I could change it out, I'd obviously would swap back to the shield now because we don't need the experimenter anymore. Uh, digging with this wand is gonna suck. I just realized that. Damn it. black holes over here huh yeah cause digging with this will just lag it up screw it let's we'll go back to that orb Teleport there. There's heals. Yay. Oh man, we have lots of damage right here. Lots and lots of damage. Big damage. Uh alright. So we can grab the oil blood. Oil blood will make it where the ominous liquid blood. So because we're about to be doing another shift. And blood is going to get turned into ominous liquid, but if we make it where we bleed oil, then that should be good. The quiet, the silent blessed. The silent blessing. See you there, Esperoth. Did I shout out Spacer Mug for the Prime? I hope I did. Earlier, I feel like I was kind of daydreaming. Spacer Mug, I apologize if I didn't shout you out for your Prime. I appreciate the love. And even if I did, you deserve a double shout out. Take your shout out and double it. Double that, baby. What is ominous liquid? It's a dark purple liquid that, like, like it's like a poison that hurts really bad. Takes a lot of damage. Um. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, there's Spacer still here. Yes! Thank you, Spacer. I was like, damn it. Usually, like, whenever I'm like, fuck, I missed somebody's shout-out. And they're, like, almost never here. I'm like, damn. They hate me. But Spacer was still here. Hell yeah. Uh, okay, so this one, the reason this one's interesting is because... Oh, I shouldn't have bought that yet. Should have grabbed the heal first. Uh, well, I guess we'll grab, we'll grab the other one in a moment. This uh, horizontal path adds 8 damage. And yes, it does make them move like kind of in an annoying way. But it adds a, a decent chunk of damage to it. With that, without the recoil. Which that is uh, kind of a big deal. Now we need to go get those heals. 
There's still no black hole. Oil blood, so now we're fire immune. What? I forgot I have the tiny, the little short teleport. That was foolish. Uh, I forgot to put up the explosion thing. There's a poly mage. Very scary stuff. Eat the poly mage. All right, we ate him. 180 seconds of poly immunity. And the reason, the reason the 180 seconds of poly immunity is huge, because moments like that where the poly mage jumps into you would normally be super scary, but instead we can actually take a hit, and it doesn't even matter. Look at that! Hit me! Hit me! Let's see, poly immunity for the win. Try to eat his corpse, but apparently I'm failing at that. Now we got 228 seconds of poly immunity. Oh, I'm not. Oh, thank God. I was like, I am not melee immune as I cuddled with the dude who froze me. We could have fell into a melee dude, and that would have been scary. Though save, we do have saving grace, so it it would have probably helped a bit. Could have saved us for a bit. You almost got <laughs> 69. What? what kind of version of Noita are you playing? I got hit with the. Uh, Neutralize spells. Oh, no. Okay, okay. Let's not go near the guys that can kill me. Neutralize is gone. Zooming around. Just looking for a black hole. One, two, three. Testing. Is this thing on? Testing. Hello? Okay, good now that I have your attention. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. I am here to tell you about today's sponsor Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> it's a game. Oh, the hell to this. <laughs> I was wondering where you were going with that, I Rage. Oh, Tinker in the Last Mountain. I could save us a little bit of trouble. Testing, testing. What's up, I Rage? Thanks for the support, dude. Appreciate you. Uh, there is another horizontal. Forget the opportunity. Could be nice. Got a heal there. Oh, we don't. Doesn't matter if we collapse it. We have Tinker. All right. So we have eight orbs to collect. We can do a second shift now. The higher you drop this fungus, the more fungus it creates as it falls. This is shift number two. Let the shift take place. Luki Lair Orb. Yeah, we need to grab the Luki. So the reason I didn't grab the orbs yet is I was so focused on getting the digging. But I guess we could go with... Um, we could go with the worms to really lead us to victory, right? Worms! Lead us to victory! That's fine. That's yeah, fine. Toss these down. Worms for the victory. Probably toss that away. Isn't it bad to spawn the Sampo first? Uh, I think sometimes people say like if the game crashes, it makes it more likely to corrupt if you've loaded in that area. It's something like that, but uh, no, it should be should be fine as long as well, as long as we don't get any crashes, we should be fine. Well, that's annoying. E 
keep boomerang for heals. Uh, we're not going to need the... Well, I guess we could piercing and boomerang. Actually a pretty decent idea. That's not bad. You may have something there. Where was it at? Right there. Thank you, thank you for the idea. Mm, good idea watching streams. I'm trying to keep my streak alive. Ah, I see how it is. Only helping because you have your you're looking out for yourself. <laughs> looking out for number one. Jin, thanks for the follow-up. Quick Walmart trip? Yeah, I think fly. I think that is exactly what we need to do. We need to make a quick stop at Walmart and see if we can find us a black hole. Or we could just dig through the cursed rock with worms. And while we're traveling through the parallel world, we are likely to see a black hole in all those shops, right? Then if we don't, I'm going to be very... Going to be all angry. Hey! You bit me. Egg? Do I even have... I left the egg behind, I think, a while ago. Is butt friend getting restocked? Yes, it has been. Uh, okay. So... Damage plus, eh, we already have such good damage, we don't need that shit. So, if we go Healing Bolt, Boomerang, and we were to shoot this, right? We currently have 1,700 HP. We shoot this, uh, I don't know, like up, 1,709. We got 9 HP from that. Put Piercing on that bad boy, and now we shoot it. And, uh, wait, what, 1,709 to 1,919. In fact, I think if we did this in water, we'd probably be even happier with it. Um, yeah, there, there's a good amount of health. In fact, let's drown ourselves for a second, see how much damage we can get out of a single shot on it. Look away, chat! Look away! You don't need to see this! <laughs> All this drowning made me thirsty. It gives me anxiety. Gotta play that like Sonic, uh, like you're running out of breath uh, music. Makes you feel all anxious. All right, we have about 1,700 HP, right? 1,695. Let's see if I can fire this into the water like so. Oh, that was kind of shit one. Actually, being smarter, you would attach like a, you could attach a ping pong temporarily to give it more longer lifetime. And then when you shoot it, yeah, that one would be the smart one. You get the most heals out of that. Kind of moves a little bit weird though. Huh. Anyways, we're, we we have so we have infinite healing now. It's going to show we run, run out of charges. Let's move this back. The alpha casts a copy of the first spell on your wand. Heal goes in the first spot, and yeah, so there's our infinite heals. I was just kind of goofing around and trying stuff out there for a bit. Um, this is gonna be the fastest way to dig up. Oh yeah, worms. Worms. I have a run on YouTube where um, so worms are one of those spells that I really like never use just because they're kind of frustrating and they're goofy and I mean the worms are ridiculous, but they do dig They can't that can't be denied, but there's this one run uh, on YouTube I'm Trying to remember what I titled it. I think it was an 11 orb win for win number 
An 11 orb win for win number 1100? Something like that. And that one may sound pretty simple, because you're like, oh, it's an 11 orb win, that's nothing crazy. But actually, I mean, if you watch the video, it's probably not the most entertaining. If anything, I'm probably pretty ragey in the video, because I... That was a 30... They ended up being a 36 hour long live stream. And it was the very end of my challenge. So what I had to do is I had to get a win with zero orbs. I had to get a win with one orb. I had to get a win with two orbs. I had to win with every single orb amount from zero to 11. So 12 separate wins. And if I died at any point, I reset all the way back down to zero. And so I died like on win on orb number eight. I was on an eight orb run and I died to an Uko, of course. And so I went all the way back to zero. Well, the run, I, it's, you know, fast forward 27 hours later or some shit, and I'm going for the 11 orb run, and I'm tired as fuck, and I'm like, oh my god, like, I gotta get this run in. Well, in that run, because in 11 orb run, you're gonna need good digging, yeah? Well, I'm not getting any good digging, and I remember I was just fucking raging. I was like, where the fuck is any digging? Like, how is this happening? Because I, I felt like I was going crazy. Because I'd been playing for, at that point, like 27 hours straight. And I and in, in every run, I really didn't have too many difficulties with like, certain, you know, I, I'd find black holes, find what I needed. This was like the run that I just was not finding what I was needing. needing. And I was like, dude, I'm destined to die on this 11 orb run and reset all the way to, to zero. And I was like, I may die on live stream if, if this happens. Well, I remember the chat though was just like, I, I had passed worms earlier. And I can remember them just being like, no, 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 we got, like, you have worms. Go back for the worms. So I, I, while I'm super frustrated, eventually I was like, screw it. I'll go back for the worms. And I do go back for them because I left them, like, at a, in a, on a wand. And those worms end up being the key for why I won that 11 orb run. And how I es escaped the hell that was that 36 hour long stream. It was, it was a long run. Or a long set of runs. Chad, if you have worms, get that checked. That's good advice there, I have shirts. Just this is good advice. I agree. I'll second what he said. Orcus Vapor dropping off 10k. Was that 10k sweat? Yo, respect the sweat. 10k. Carried by chat once again. Honestly, it was I, I felt very lucky to have chat there in that situation because it did help me. It did help balance out my rage because I was being consumed by it. And the chat was like, no, no, no. The run's fine. The run's fine. Just use the worms. And I was like, I don't want the worms. Where the fuck is Black Hole? But luckily, I went back and I grabbed the worms. And they, they are what held the run together. Went on to get the win. Um, why is what? Who, who's bleeding acid and not whiskey? I'm not sure who you're talking about there, BRB. So your 1,700 was easy by comparison? Yeah, it wasn't, I mean, it's not as bad as that one. Yeah, that, yeah, that's true. Going back, I feel like, you know, if, if you remove that one death at eight orbs, you know, that one Uko, you know, blast, and that run just doesn't get nearly as bad. It's not a, it's just that I was so exhausted. It's hard to explain what exhaustion does to you whenever you're playing Noita. It, it really takes a toll. You make a lot of bad decisions. I find it hard to, like, as time goes on, you start making decisions that you look back and you're like, what was I thinking? Dude, speaking of which, I mean, look. So yesterday, whenever we were playing TI, I had been playing for, we were just about, or like seven and a half hours in, something like that. And I was getting so frustrated with TI yesterday. Dunk, we need a moment to appreciate. Real life butt friend. Chat, you can thank me later. What? Excuse me? I'll look that up afterwards. I, I'm not going to click that yet. <laughs> I rage. I'm scared. 
But yesterday we were playing TI, and during the TI, I was super frustrated. TI is the uh, uh, Twitch integration. I almost said the international. Uh, Twitch integration. And uh, during it, there was a there was a a black hole in a circle of displacement. I wanted the circle of displacement so I could tr I could fast travel through the level. Like I was trying to speed run, and the black hole landed on top of it. And in my head, I'm just thinking, what? I need to grab the circle of displacement. I need to. And then Kong, I think it was Konga that was posting the Discord. Is like, why didn't you just grab the black hole? Then black hole the out the circle of displacement. And I was just like, oh yeah. Those are all fake shit that I'm having to dodge. Much black hole? No, we want the thing under it. No, what the? We want the thing under it. This is bullshit. Yeah. So there you go. There was my. There was the rage. When the rage gets a hold of your heart, you make poor decisions. Very, very poor decisions. Um. <laughs> the... I rage. What is this? <laughs> is that a frog? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> Alright, back to the gameplay. I, this is we're doing a YouTube stream, damn it. <laughs> focus up, chat. Focus up. <laughs> Why is it salty? I don't I couldn't even tell what creature that was. Make that the thumbnail. <laughs> just the title just says butt friend. You clutching that TI sheep as uh was still impressive. That TI win as a sheep was still impressive. Dude, I was like if I was about to I, I thought I was about to die right there, I was like, today is like there is some kind of I don't know, somebody watching over the runs and just making sure that they always, they they just lose. Like, there's no way to win. If I would have lost it, you would have heard some uh, a keyboard snap in half or something. It's impossible. Scoop up some water. But thank you, Santa, and I appreciate your support yesterday, too. It, it made me, it brought me back to to the real world. I was like, all right, chat, chat's still with me. They didn't abandon me after the 50 Twitch integration losses. Santa still believes in me. Uh, more heal. We don't need that. So what are we doing right now, chat? We need to be getting a black hole. Worms in the par okay, so yeah, I, rem I remember now. I remember now. What was the third shift supposed to be, chat? Third shift is supposed to be sand to rock. All right, we can do that one. I did vote yes on the on the first TI run that lasted about two seconds. And even after all that, you still you still support it. Appreciate you. This is shift number three. Sand. See, we already knew exactly what it was gonna be. Let me even check this over here so I don't forget. That's shift number three. Shift number three. What it's gotta be. YouTube, please type oo goo and quack in the comments multiple times. Don't listen to stale bread. Not only is his bread stale, but so is his brain. Damn these worms. Worms dig so awkwardly. They keep hitting you too. They like fly back into you. All right, so we we are heading towards a parallel world, and the best way to go about this probably is. Uh, I was thinking maybe the gold room. 
The gold room is something to think about. Don't forget to mod restart. This, this is true. This is true. But first, I think we may grab a bit of gold. No ducktails today, chat. For the YouTube community that may be confused, we usually blare and rock out to ducktails while we Scrooge McDuck swim our way through the gold room here. Because this gold room is always here. It's 250,000 gold that just sits there waiting for you to grab it. And you can actually grab it. There are some people that have gotten good enough stuff from the very first zone in Noita that they just head here immediately and get the 250k gold. But in our run today, we obviously didn't. We uh, we took our sweet time to come here. Uh, there it is. But yeah, so we, we we have to avoid DMCA stuff so we won't be blaring DuckTales. Um, we I talked about this not too long ago, but... YouTube disregard that last thing Dunk said scream DuckTales oo-woo in the comment section. Oo-woo. <laughs> <laughs> DuckTales oo-woo. I don't think that's how the theme song goes. But... Anyways, we were playing DuckTales stuff uh, in one of our streams. We did like many different versions of DuckTales. We did like the German one, the Japanese one, Finnish, a Polish. Uh, we, we're doing all these different kinds. Nordic. There was a lot of different DuckTales. But for some reason, one of them triggered the DMCA on Twitch. We, I didn't get hit with the DMCA, but it just like it muted that piece of the VOD. Because it's like, oh, it's like DMCA-able music was playing. And it was the Russian DuckTales. So, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> so all the DuckTales were fine. It got, it bypassed like Twitch's automated system. But the Russian one played and it was like, stop right there. This is Russian DuckTales. The DMCA police have arrived. Horizontal Hello, worms, good YouTube. idea. We are excited to announce that the butt friend hoodie will be available soon. Keep a lookout for the link for the shop to come soon. <laughs> this ad break is brought to you by butt friend. He's a butt. He's your friend. He's butt friend. <laughs> I like that last delivery by TTS iRage. It's actually pretty funny. <laughs> uh, Alright, hold up. We gotta go kill... Oops. We have to go kill somebody real quick. We gotta go kill the pyramid boss. And we need to grab the orb over here. It's orb in time. So the horizontal on the worm uh, was a good idea by chat. So let me get ready for that in a second here. <laughs> He's a butt. He's your friend. He's butt friend. Come on. Blasted him. Oops, what did I grab in there? What was that? Uh, random spell modifier? I don't think so. Take copy random spell thrice, even though I don't have any plan for it. Alright, so uh, what chat was uh, recommending is maybe we toss one of these worms, put horizontal on it. Let's see if that can uh, help out our digging situation with these worms. That's pretty smooth, isn't it? Not bad. OMG, I can't believe the high quality butt friend hoodie I received by being a Twitch chat viewer. <laughs> the fuck? The reason the last one went so weird is I forgot to... Sh Remember, if you if you want the horizontal to be attached to every worm shot, you don't... You shoot it, shuffle away, shuffle back, shoot it, shuffle away, shuffle back. This will make sure that every worm that is shot out of this wand will have horizontal attached to it. But if you shoot it and then you don't shuffle away and you just shoot again, the next one won't have the horizontal. So, or you can shoot it, tab tab, shoot tab tab. Either one of these works. Uh, let me do a quick restart for stability of the engine. Uh, 
what's this? Use wand refresh and drop all those extra spells? That's a good idea. I just have a wand refresh chilling in the bank, don't I? Uh, okay, we can doop doop doop. Doop, 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 doop. Here's that. Put down uh, our double. So this is casting both the worm and the wand refresh at the same time. So we don't have to do that shuffle away method that I was just explaining. Lord Huron said, fuck that shit. This, this part can be kind of frustrating. Because the worm's tunnel that he digs is too thin. You have to do kind of like a little bunny hop sometimes when you're shooting your worms so that the second worm will be high enough that it'll allow you to teleport in the, the zone that he, he dug. So you can shoot one regular, one jump. Then you zoom, 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 zoom. Oops. So like, there we go. We shoot shoot the worm, and if we try to teleport, see that the path is not big enough. So you would you would you would shoot one more while you jump. Oops, while you jump. Now it should be large enough. Well, it's kind of failing. Now it should be large enough. You can only go a little ways though. Damn you, worms. Damn you. Blah, 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 blah. What is Dunk's favorite way to troll the chat? I never troll the chat. I never do such a thing. I have honor, unlike the chat. Uh, we need to take the horizontal and put it back there because we need to actually dig downwards. Not purely horizontal anymore. But this is a parallel world. You'll see it says the East Mines. YouTube, here is the official preview of the Butt Friend Orange Hoodie. Hashtag Dunkor Butt Friend Hashtag Sponsored Hashtag Hoodie Only $29.99 comes in all sizes from small to 5XL. <laughs> Whoa. Now this... That is some serious gamer merch right there. That's some true streamer merch. See, we can't sell this though, because there's like a... When it comes to, to clothing, there is too sexy. And if you wore, were to wear this on Twitch, you would be insta-banned. It would be against TOS. It's just too goddamn hot. I rage. thanks for the support. <laughs> Poot says, I'd buy that. I'll take three. So we do want this repulsion. Slurp. Any black holes? Any black holes? Nope. <clears throat> Trolls chat when throwing bet before Holy Mountain. Freudian slip? Wait, what are you saying? Because you said can have a hoodie with full frontal nudity, nudity on it? You said can't? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> you're like, I, I, I do want that? I'll take it. What is that? Acceleration. Yeah. Mm. Got him. Still no black hole. Thank you, Gekon. I appreciate the support. Shyless is Dunk's favorite way to troll the chat. Is Dunkbot <clears throat> Dunkbot 2.0 soon? Shiloh, even you, even you. <clears throat> What's the spell in the Cantel? Which spell? There are many spells. Is there one that stands out to you? We don't need the fire immunity. We already have oil blood. The purple one? Oh, it's, it's literally just a purple glimmer. Uh, we added it because without it, it lags the game a bit more. Like, I'll show you what it looks like in a second. Bastard. 
Bam, there's a heavy shot if we really want to go crazy. So without it, whenever I shoot, you'll notice that there, there's a bit of lag. The game starts to chug a bit. But, I, really wish you guys could I mean, we can still right chug now, even with on, even with this, sweat. but it, it chugs less, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That's why we put the purple on there. <clears throat> Runs a little bit smoother. JC with a 15-monther! Halu, halu to you too. Remember, YouTuber Piaz, if you're new to the streams, just say, say hi, I'm here from the YouTube and love your streams. And he'll read it such as you have tiny nipples, Chase. What? <laughs> Wait, what? Still, what? Terrible art is confused as well. What did we just hear? I think I need an adult. And straight out of left field. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Still, bread is fucking losing it. He's gone insane. Add an all-seeing eye to the digging wand. Add an all-seeing eye to the digging wand. But why? There's some vrooming going on out there. I mean, it is 3.32 a.m. That's like prime vrooming time. Oh, wow, a chainsaw. Like our first of the day, I think. I haven't seen too many of those. Tau as well. Not bad, not bad. Juicy stuff. Today's item is from uh, Slay the Spire. There was two chainsaws in the first fungal zone? Really? Damn it. Why is he using notes in his wand? Uh, because I have attached damage from here. This adds three damage. This adds eight damage. That's all attached to all the music notes. So whenever they go flying around, you'll see that, that they... room was how fast I'll be typing if the shop opens again. They hit stuff, they kill stuff. See, when I hit stuff, they get obliterated by all those music notes. He's got some lightning on there. That was kind of con concerning. Ooh, a damage field. That could be kind of interesting. You'd need an extra ad mana, though. Come on. My repulsion field is making this kind of annoying now. So that the... Has a harder time healing me. But it still can heal me. This takes a bit more effort. I cram it up into the wall. I think if I stand far enough back, it seems like it does boomerang into me for a bit. No telly spell? You mean no black hole spell, Mean K? Yeah, because we have a telly spell. Don't have the black hole. Okay, that was the, what you were wanting to... Hmm. I need both 2D sharps. So you're wanting all seeing eye. You're wanting it here, meaning that we'd have to put a triple there. So we cast it, it's like... But every time we dig? I guess? That's what you're wanting, chat. Making your dreams come true. So here was here's what I was thinking. Wait a second. Wasn't there another quad? There, there's this quad. Alright, watch this. So we swap that in. Copy thrice, you're out. I was thinking about using it, but now I'm like, eh. Uh, 
One, two, three, four. Something's wrong here. Oh yeah, because one of these has got to go. That's there. This is here. Damn it. I was thinking I want I wanted to try to add an add mana and a damage field. But if we do that, this has to be turned into a triple. Let's see without the glimmer. Okay, Dunk San, I have an actual opinion besides some meme stuff. It might be fun or somewhat relaxing to play a more linear game like Hotline Miami, Everhood, or Undertale just for a few examples off the top of my head, after you beat Terraria. Perhaps, perhaps, perhaps. I do like Hotline Miami. I haven't beat the second one, so playing through the first one again to then play the second one could be a good time. You really don't need Ping Pong Path there. Ping Pong extends the lifetime of the... Uh, of the music notes, so they live longer to do potentially do more damage. Wait, what did I end up removing? Why do you need notes? They are my projectiles. Just like a spark bolt, you can attach damage to a spark bolt, you can attach damage to a music note. Do you even need more damage? Probably not. It's more just kind of goofy at this point but i'm enjoying it i don't know what i removed i removed something that i shouldn't have dad dad egg beautiful oh the glimmer i was like i was like i removed something i was couldn't remember i just did it two seconds prior and immediately forgot all right now it's add egg Glimmer, you're back on. I just wanted to. Sh the reason I took it off is I wanted to show that they all they all have the damage field attached to them. It's just whenever the glimmer's on there, you can't see it, but it's there. It's there, secretly doing work. Ghost would probably be a really good grab, but we're actually going to grab Projectile Eater because whenever we fight the boss, it's going to be a, a longer than usual fight. Hmm. Damn it. I was, felt like something was off here. It's going to be a longer than usual fight because we're going to have to be drowning the boss in polymorphine. So he's going to be getting a chance to shoot tons. Because the boss, you got to remember, at this many at this many orbs, when we're fighting him at 12, he has the possibility to shoot polymorphine shots of his own. Chaotic poly shots, actually. So it could be dangerous. Ah, uh, speed up makes it where it's harder to follow. I forgot about that. Yeah, it's, it's doing all right. Don't jump into the portals, because we're in a parallel world. Take the portals, it sends you back to the main world. My god, where's the black holes at? Big Steve, I have a gift for you. You're welcome. Uh, projectile slower? Is this a mistake? Fuck it, do it anyways. why are we using the all seeing eye spell uh, don't we have the perk already I want to talk about it <laughs> chat told me to they made me do it <laughs> they were like you cast the all seeing eye spell with the worms I was like why and I was like sure if you want me to I, I, I've just figured, oh, they just want to make sure I have extra vision. I totally forgot that we had the perk.
What happens if you add the quantum mod to your uh, notes? You will get more notes, but the notes don't carry the mods, uh, like all the modifiers that you'd want. So it's not as it's not as good as you would think. If quantum helped, if, if quantum made it where they carried modifiers, then it would be awesome. Quantum, if you're curious, like creates duplicates of like the original. do just to help speed it up a bit more I guess still some tower wands yeah some of our wands are a little bit eh but I was hoping we wouldn't have to Hope, I was hoping it wouldn't come to that At this point, I mean, we've gotten far enough along that it's like, who even needs the black holes? <laughs> Worms are just carrying. Let's just get to, to 12 orbs, and while we're doing it, uh, our last shift... What was our last shift? Uh, our last shift was sand to rock, so our next shift is going to be silver, brass, and copper to rock unless I hold a flask. If I hold a flask, it will convert into whatever material I'm holding. So for example, if I was holding water, it would be silver, brass, and copper would convert over to water. So in this case, we're just gonna let it be random, which is gonna take the rock. Can't stop the rock. Yeah, Dwayne the Rock Johnson is gonna just fucking come flying in. All right, here we go. Alright, here we go. There we go. Get moving. There it is. It says copper, because that was one of the groups that was being swapped away. And that was... Hold up. Get a safe spot in the wall here. That was shift number four. So we still have two more shifts before the the big shift. Why am I still holding on to that heel? What's the daily seed? Right there. Six eight seven eight five six four nine six. Hopefully I read that right. Alright, so remember this is a parallel world. Oops, we can't even kill these guys right now. Go away! I don't have the right damage type right now. Um, so these are cursed hearts because we're in a parallel world, right? So when we grab that, we're going to try to grab the edge of it. And it, it leaves the cursed heart behind. Now obviously, we don't get the 25 HP because we left the cursed heart behind. But we also don't have to deal with the damage that comes with the cursed heart where you temporarily are just getting the shit beat out of you and kind of annoying. Fuck the worms! Though they did serve me well, I can't, I can't completely shit talk them, but fuck those worms! Uh, all right. And in fact, it's black hole timer. So black hole timer doesn't even need the double afterwards because the black hole timer naturally grabs the wand refresh, forcing it to be cast at the same time as the black hole, which creates. Infinite black holes. Like so. Now, if it was just a regular black hole, we still would need that double there to cast the... To 
cast the wand refresh and the black hole at the same time. Oh shit. Don't want to get hit by that tele, tele juice. Grab another speed up to slap on there. Why not? My repulsion field thing is kind of fucking it up a bit. Poison trail. I was trying to think if we needed that for any of this shifting stuff, but we should not get out here. Swarl says, chat uh, and YouTube commenters looking hella cute today. You hear that? Mainly to the, he said, I mean, he, he didn't say it, say it in the chat, but I could read between the lines. I feel like Swarls was saying mainly the YouTube commenters were looking cuter than the, the chat. Chat's looking all right, but the YouTube commenters were like, mm. God damn. I feel you there, Swarls. I feel you. I'll vouch it. Bye-bye, dragon. What the fuck? That's, uh, hmm. That's something. <laughs> Form formation trifurcated and reduced spread. No projectiles. All right. If you say so. Actually, what were the stats on it? 0.85 recharge. Shh. I'm too good for that wand. That wand wishes I would use it. No, it was. It was. It was a pretty good wand. Not anything that we're interested in right now. So, these portals are the only portals that are really open. There's, there's very few portals in the parallel world that will not take you back to the main world. But those portals right there are the are, are some of the few that allow you to stay in the parallel world when you use them. Okay, where are we? There we go. And the reason I took it is I wanted to be able to grab that. Leave the cursed heart. Do, 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 do. Eight. No poly mages, please, or po I mean, uh, poly shots. Don't mess this up. So don't mess this up. Yes. So far, I haven't messed up any of the heart grabs. Nice. We need three more. I have an idea of where to get at least one of these. We're aiming for 12. At 12 is whenever the boss becomes vulnerable to polymorphine. And then we can go wide. Now the scary thing is, the only acid spell that we found is Circle of Acid, and I don't think it's gonna work. Um, it's not gonna, I don't think it's gonna spew a ton of polymorphine. And then we have to look for another spell to spray acid. It's gonna be a whole thing. Does anybody know if, if Sea of Acid spawns in hell? Nope. Zani, as in nope, you don't know, or nope, it does not spawn in hell. I can't remember if the Sea of Spells spawned on there. Kyran says no, I don't believe it does. Fuck. Well, fuck. Yeah, Zani says does not. No. This is bullshit. If you're curious what I'm doing over here, that's a big worm. Apparently dropped a heart. We don't have electric immunity, so we still got to be slightly cautious when moving around along here. But there should be an orb. Right over here. Two more orbs. What are going to be the two that we grab? Let me 
me think. Hmm. Can you find cursed hearts anywhere besides cursed orbs? Uh, no, I believe it's just cursed orbs. I don't even think a, I don't even think a chest or even a greater chest can drop them. I've never heard or seen of that happening, but that doesn't make it so. It just makes it what I think. <laughs> Noise is one of those things that you'll believe something's impossible until somebody shows you otherwise. You can't do that. And they're like, here's me doing that. And you're like, oh, what the fuck? That, that works like that? Yeah, I've only seen cursed hearts and orbs. Hey, Dunk, what do you do after your streams usually? Uh, I usually stare at some Dunkbot code. Uh, lately, I've been watching a bit of anime, watching some Mob Psycho. Mm, try to get some exercise in at some point. Usually, I get distracted with some food instead. I'm trying to think what else. Goaded Show? It's definitely a solid watch. I've been enjoying it, Jar. I was a little, I was a little unsure because the last recommendation chat threw out was Hunter Hunter, which was good. I enjoyed Hunter Hunter, but I think Mob Psycho's. I mean, Hunter Hunter is also old, a decent amount older than Mob Psycho though, too, right? Like by by a lot. But anyways, I felt like Hunter Hunter was just mid, and people like love that shit. Creeper stash, don't look at my face. How dare you look at my face? Uh, hold on, where are we going? Oh, I know where to go. Okay, here's gonna be our plan. I've got a plan. You mean uh, impossible like a noisy together session with 43 people making it to the end? Okay, that was it. That was lightning striking. Mob Psycho's top tier. Yeah, it's just a solid watch. It's just like a good, a good show. A good, a good anime. I feel like like anybody can probably watch it and just like you know enjoy it. I don't think it's gonna be anybody who's like number one best all time. But I feel like there's not a lot to dislike about it. Only picked up the game a couple of days ago. Can't uh, quite wrap my head around what the fuck is going on. I thought it was one thing, but obviously something uh, <laughs> completely other. Well, I see the early days of Noita. Don't worry. Everybody went through it. You are not alone. It's not like... You're just not understanding the game or something. It's like, no, that's just how Noita is. Noita is is kind of fucked up. But if you get over those early days, uh, you know, the, the rough times of the early days, you have some very, very fun times ahead, my friend. Noita is my favorite single player game of all time. He's calling it mid. Hunter Hunter? I mean, Hunter Hunter is kind of mid. It's... It's I, you know? okay it was very slow it had like hype like really hype parts but there was a lot of very very slow episodes <laughs> swarls is he's angry careful you've angered the weebs P the weed pfps there's a lot of hunter hunter profile pictures that's for sure nothing beat one punch man well, yeah, Mob Psycho, it's funny because when you're watching Mob Psycho, you can definitely feel like how it's from the the same peeps uh, that made One Punch Man. You can definitely feel that shit. One Punch. Did you watch the older version or the new one? I believe it was the new one. I'm pretty certain. But then again, I haven't seen what the old one looks like, so... Could be assuming wrong, but no, it looked good graphically. It looked good, so it, it's got to be the newer one. I guess the reason I consider it like all right is because there's still so much to the story left to be told. It feels like, so you're like, where are we here? Like, what do we, what do we got going on? Oh yeah, we need to do more shifts. Thank you, chat. Uh, let me try to find a safe spot to... What the hell, man? This guy's away from me. Back oh, I was trying to dodge it. I was thinking it was a cursed orb again. I was not thinking. Boop. 
Uso Rinkin. Old but gold? I haven't even heard of this. Is this that, like, shit that's so obscure? That's... Because there are some people that are... Those, those anime snobs that it's got to be obscure shit for them to be like, Hell yeah. If it wasn't made in, like, a back alley and has, like... 90% fan service, they're like, I ain't watching it. What the fuck? Uh, this is shift number... Oh, fuck. I can't even remember at this point. It's not the not the main one. I know that. Rock. Can't stop the rock. Uh, where were we? So we did this one. Wait, why did it say rock? Oh, because this one got shifted into rock. And then the rock shift got shifted into SEMA. And we, so then we have one more throwaway shift and then the big one. Hell yeah. Need to refill your sack, senpai? <laughs> what the fuck? Refilled, treasure hunter. Refilled. I really enjoyed Erased, Death Note, and Edge Runners. Is Erased... A is Erased a movie? I'm trying to remember. Erased is insane. Insa oh no, wait, Erased is with about those kids, right? That shit was like dark. That shit was dark. At some point I was like, holy fuck. This is, this is getting real. Yeah, yeah, Erased, Erased is pretty good. Yeah, you have good, you have good taste. I like uh, Erased is mid. It didn't blow my mind, but I'd say like, I de it's like one of those shows. So one of the ways that I gauge it, how much I like it is when if, if I'm able to stop, if I'm able to watch a couple episodes and stop and like walk away. Some shows you just can't, right? They're just, you're just like, I gotta know what happens next. And that's when you start to be like, all right, this is a little bit above that mid tier. You're like hooked on that. And a race did have a bit of that where you're like, wait, what the fuck is happening next? Like you just had to know. But I, I don't see myself like re-watching a race, but I did like it. Calling things mid is mid. Alright, do you want me to say full middle tier? It is it is subpar. I never watched it, gonna check it out. Yeah, it's got like a dark side to it, and I know a lot of you guys like that dark anime. For people like dark anime though, and I haven't even watched the next season, the newest season, but Made in Abyss. Chat said though the newest season was like apparently very dark and also not as good or something. But the other one, it was like so dark, I was like, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a while to watch the rest of this. <laughs> My bad. Mid means exactly par. I apologize. Not subpar. Exactly par. Made in Abyss is just depressing. Yeah, that's what, that's what I felt like. But it was, you know, it. If some people like that shit. They're looking for those feels. They want to feel something. Durium says there's no maids, only furries. Not gonna watch. <laughs> is, that, is that how you gauge... What you're gonna watch? Interesting. <laughs> yes. Ah. Lily says wrong. There is exactly one maid. Well, now you look like a fool, Durium. Lily just embarrassed you in front of everyone. Everybody, feel free to point and laugh at Durium. That idiot. <laughs> Saying Maiden Abyss has no maids is, uh, I don't know what the hell that last part is. Is what? Something erasure? Listen, your vocabulary is too advanced. You gotta keep a tiny brain. Anything past four letters and you're, you're hurting my brain. Oh, 
Oh, Ma Marulk? Marulk? I don't remember character. I don't. I don't remember my character names in uh, in in Maiden Abyss though. It's it's been a minute. Like I maybe I maybe I was I blocked it out of my mind. <laughs> Lily, I was traumatized. Let's be. Real. I'm not ready for this. I don't know why I'm holding on to this hut. Like it's gonna be the best thing. It's let's just throw this down. We got this in our first zone or our second zone, but uh, it's our house. It's a nice place. We bought it for fifty bucks. Gonna resell it in a couple weeks for ten mil. We're learning the housing market. Mm -hmm. right. Cool house, thank you. I worked hard on it. Built it myself. You see these hands? They made that house. Great location, excellent value. <laughs> see? We got, look, we got uh, Mofu Lords already getting the write-up for us. The posting's about ready to go. Let the bidding wars begin. <laughs> Cash only. Oh, there's a, there's a couple orbs we could actually go for. Let's go for the Hell Orb. I think the Hell Orb would be the most fun for this uh, current run that we got going on. I don't know why I keep digging past the portals. I'm in the main world. Chat, is is it the bottom right or the bottom left portal in the jungle that takes you to hell? I want to say it's the bottom left. No, that's wrong. That's the orb in the... It's bottom right then. Yeah. The fr that's the frozen orb is the bottom left one, isn't it? I thought the shop was every two hours. Uh, it usually is, but today we were doing a YouTube recording, so the shop got like, you know, Omega delayed. Um, as soon as this run, as soon as we succeed in this run, we'll be doing our next shop. It isn't too far away. Has it been five minutes since the last shift? I feel like it has been. Bye, chat. The concept of time is fucked up when streaming. Shark says maybe. All right. That was not helpful. Anybody in chat know? Anybody timing that shit? How long has it been? Can we have you do a run that transports all the fish in every holy mountain to the last mountain? You'd uh, you'd have to clear a path all the way down. I think if you do that one, um, the one perk where you kick the the summon save kiwi, I think it can drill a, a a path in the whole world and it doesn't kill the fish as long as none of them are on the screen. That none of them are rendered in whenever you you do the laser thing. So that is very possible. It's been at least two seconds. <laughs> it's been 69 seconds. All right, Chad is, is not being helpful. Chad is being classic. Classic Chad. All right, this is the, the, we should be the last shift before the big one. Weird fungus. Okay. Guys, set your timers. Um, weird fungus. The next shift is the shift. Acid to flask. Oh boy. Oh boy. Five minutes. Fungus blood to weird fungus is the best shift. We got the best shift, is that what you're saying? All right, bottom right, this should take us to hell. Yay! We're in hell. This is orb number 12. We have gathered 12 orbs. Um, hmm. We could just teleport up to the surface. 
Nah, let's just... Oh, wait, did I get rid of the freeze? All right, it looks like I didn't leave myself a... I thought I still had a freeze on me. I'm not smart, chat. Um, a, B sharp, E, G, A, D sharp, E, G. Get the portal, jump into the portal, back on the surface. You can only do that once in a run, so use it wisely. Once per run. Move these back. That over. Nope. It's so much to dig fungus with drills to make infinite fungus. Well, we already have infinite fungus. I guess I haven't. Maybe it's much faster with the digging method instead of the dropping method. Is this the main world surface? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, what's going to happen here is we're going to do our next shift. Whenever we do the shift, we're going to hold this flask right here of polymorphine. When we hold this flask, since we know the next shift, it takes acid and it turns it into whatever flask I'm holding. So, if I held ambrosia, it would take acid and turn it all acid into ambrosia. But instead, we're doing polymorphine. So, all acid is going to turn into polymorphine. Now, this polymorphine is going to injure the boss. The polymorphine will act like a like an acid to the boss. Now for me, it polymorphs me if I touch it, but if the boss touches it, it's gonna be like burning his flesh. Uh, obviously it doesn't do anything graphically. It's just, it just, his health bar is just gonna tank whenever he touches the, the polymorphine. That's only because we have exactly 12 orbs. If we had 11 orbs, it would not work. If we had 13 orbs, it would not work. You gotta have exactly 12 for polymorphine liquid to hurt them. At 13, it becomes chaotic poly. At 14, it becomes another liquid. At 15, and so it goes through these different li liquids at different orbs. Um, now, we have circle of acid. Whenever we shoot circle of acid right now, this is what it looks like. I don't think this is going to work correctly. So we're going to have to look for an alternative method. And that's going to make me very upset. But whenever you shoot this, watch what happens. A ton of acid comes out, yeah? Well, I believe... If you're curious where the whiskey is coming from, it's because the acid does not give off... Uh, the, the acid normally gives off flammable gas. But because of the fungal shifts, flammable gas got turned into whiskey. So acid is giving off whiskey now when this gets shifted into poly i don't think the poly works the same way i don't think it does like a like an ocean of poly like that i i could be wrong i just feel like i don't remember ever seeing that happen i feel like it's gonna shoot it's gonna like do like a pixel of poly maybe and that's it What happened if you ignite the whiskey? Uh, do we have anything to ignite it? I don't think we have anything explosive on us. There you go, there's a... That's... that really not burn? Give me a break. There you go. Has it been five minutes already? Really? It is time. Oh boy. Yeah, you had a timer? Okay, well, let me set it up then. Time for your meds, old man. <laughs> you guys are stupid. 
Our sound's broken. No, Dunkbot's just muted for the, uh, the recording that we're doing for the YouTube peeps. Alright, so we gotta eat it up. Eat it up, eat it up. We're gonna hold out. We're gonna hold our poly flask, which is chilling right here. Do not switch away from it. It needs to it needs to be that, that flask at the moment of the shift. Okay. The shift took place, it said acid, because we know acid was turned into polymorphine. Now for the moment of truth, that I'm pretty sure is gonna be the moment of disappointment. I feel decently confident in that. So let's see. That'd be badass, though. Oh, wait, there's more than I thought, though. But it didn't completely do it. Hold up. Let's go with the timer. It's like a... It's like an in-between? <laughs> like... I'm I'm heavily disappointed. So I I didn't think there would even be that like even give off that. It gave off some. Um. What about acid rain? Acid rain would work, but I I haven't seen any. Yeah, we're gonna need to machine gun it, like you're saying. Rapid fire that shit. Which means that we need to. Probably do some modifying here. Uh, we need to refresh this. Actually, no, wait, that can stay empty for a second. Uh, alpha cost 30. Put this here. Multicast. Alpha goes there. That's out. This is here. What does that look like? Like it's it's just so expensive. What the fuck? Why is it freaking out like that? Triple, one, two, three, quad, one, two, three, four. Timer? Well, I mean, the problem is the monocost. It's, you need more draw. One, two, three, four. No, 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 we're not trying to remove anything. The payload is split, is it? This is doing nothing. It can't cast the first spell, therefore uh, Alpha doesn't uh, take it. Really? Oh, you are right. Or, okay, is that the problem? Still not giving us the... The polymorphine is working, though. I'm just excited that it's actually producing a good amount of it. What happens if we have this there? It does work. The polymorphine build does work. It's just a kind of a shitty polymorphine. So it's it's not as bad as I thought, but it's also not the you saw you saw you saw the form of acid where it's like boof. So the, the polymorphine one's like eh. So it does still work, it's just a little bit jank. Try to add spiral or ping pong to the acid on, on the other wand. The acid on the other wand. There, We do have spiral and ping pong are on the, uh, the alpha here. Uh, we need to get rid of the music notes. So for the moment, we're going to have it like this so that we can just get to the boss area. And then from there, we'll make our changes that need to be made. On the other wand? Wait, what? Lar 
LARPA won't work? Honestly, I have no idea what will happen with LARPA with that. Are the pathing spells interfering with the flow of the polycircle? We can, we'll tweak those, because they, they're, they shouldn't be necessary anyways. I'll make sure we get to that last mountain. Um, I'm a little confused there. What is dark matter? He says, try to add spiral or ping pong to the acid on the other wand. Oh, are you saying like on one of these wands do the same build? Kuro says I'm going to be dead for school tomorrow. <laughs> but it's Friday! Nope, whatever. I'm a little confused now. You, you, well, there's no point in putting them onto this. This isn't doing anything. I mean, it's, it's, it's getting copied, but... I mean, today... Today's Friday! <laughs> Gotta make sure we don't get ourselves killed. This will actually be my first time ever killing the final boss with Polly if we pull this off. And then there is like in the future we can attempt other stuff. And I would I I think while this run is cool, it will kind of always have like a little asterisk, right? Like a little like yes, if we pull this off, it was successful, but we did have to use the tool to know what. Um, what shifts to do to make sure polymorphine is the liquid we got at the end. What I think could be a fun other style of run is if we did like, um, just called like a, I don't know what we call it, a material, material Colmy killing wand or something. And it's where, you know, if you, if you get polymorphine into a plentiful, uh, it's like in this case we have, we have acid converted over to polymorphine. So at 12 orbs, the boss is vulnerable to polymorphine. But let's say that, that I was doing random shifts and polymorphine, we got bad RNG and it got sent to something else. Well then, we could focus on the 13 orb version where chaotic poly works. If that goes wrong, then we could use the teleportadium method. You see what I'm saying? So there's like, there's the acceleratium, there's the flum. So there's all these different versions. So we could do one without doing the tool, the Noita tool to predict the shifts, but also say that it could be any of these materials that we kill the final boss so it so we can't get really completely screwed by rng though you still could get screwed by rng with that <laughs> yeah orb zero with acid <laughs> true we use the material to kill the to kill the boss zero orb acid easy oh my god that is a lot of polymorphine Seems safe. Hey streamer for YouTube, say I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Did I nail it? It was better than the original, right? I know, I know. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to pursue a streamer slash uh, artist career. You guys can follow my, uh, or you guys can buy tickets to my future concerts. <laughs> and you said you wanted to avoid DMCA. That is true. That is true. I did sing it so perfectly that I could see how the bots could mix up my singing from the original. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and remove pretty much everything on this. Okay. And then we're also going to remove that stuff. Let's see if our luck changes. Maybe like uh, Terrible Art was saying that maybe the ping pong or like the spiral, maybe that was messing with the wave. Uh, it's hard to say. Let's see. Oh no, we don't want the... Let's see. Nah, it isn't quite that. I don't know what messes with it. Something is not friendly with it. But this is fine. This will be our build against them. And... Yeah. 
Yeah. It'll just have to do. Try piercing homie. Oh, I like that idea. Especially because we don't want to do damage with our spark bolts anyways. Uh, we need to move all of these, though. To the front. Oh, God. Hold up. 140. Oh, we don't have enough for that. 210. Yeah, we're not even close. We can get the piercing, though. And then in that case, the spark bolt does work. Use a different wand. That's also something to consider, chat. <laughs> I'm thinking too one-dimensional, aren't I? Just use a goddamn different wand, you chump! Yeah, about that. About that. Uh, okay. So in this case... Wait. Hold up. This... Piercing, spark bolt, trigger, homing. Might as well have all those ad monas there, why not? Then that. This becomes our main. Oh, that's kind of scary though. Because if his little minions are on my like, you know, on my nuts, they are going to his homing may may fucking you know what I mean? Pull that polymorphing back into me. And that's a little scary. Lumi drill? Uh, the Lumi drill was for the rapid fire, which I guess we could still add there. What we could do is we could even put a quad. So it goes one, two, three, four. How's that look? Add lifetime to the trigger. We don't have any good add lifetimes that aren't like kind of spur make it kind of freaky, you know. I feel like the movement would be too scary. The spiral arc. Hmm. I don't know if homing on the circle of acid would do anything. Are you seriously thinking of doing this without eating a corpse or getting iron stomach? Hell yeah. We're going in raw. Okay, maybe that was maybe that was worded terribly. We're going in without the extras to protect us. Wait, don't you want a shield on it? You ready for this chat? Can you reopen the bets real quick? <laughs> Some people are doubting. Come on guys, we'll be fine. We're just gonna douse the re arena in polymorphine. Dodge every pixel of it because if we get sheeped, we're definitely gonna die. And the boss is gonna bathe in it and it's no problem. If you're curious why, I mean, if you look at the chat, there is some, some, some of the chatters are looking a little bit uh, monka s, a little bit petrified. Oh yeah, that's not that's not petrified. That's actually Mega's horned out of his mind. But chat's being a little bit petrified because they they're thinking that we're gonna we're gonna fuck this up. But no, we got oh, get the poggies out of here. It's been two seconds, chat. These degenerates. Now I do accept I do accept the Teddy roll though. That's that's we're gonna be we're gonna roll the boss. That's what Vialet and Solar are saying right here. We're about to fucking roll this boss. Let's do it. Let's roll them. Roll them and smoke them. Uh, actually, you know we're going to start this fight? We're going to start this fight by throwing polymorphine directly in the air and cracking it on its head like we do with an acid flask just to show that we do have the damage correctly. I think that would be a fun lead up or a fun opener. LFG Teddy roll time. Let's fucking go there, plant game. Let's fucking go, dude. Alright, there it goes, there it goes. 
Eep. Okay, we got in a little bit of damage. A little bit. You know, I would, I would like more damage, but... Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, shit. Okay, there's a little bit of extra poly there. Huh. It's uh, a little concerning. Oh my god. Okay, the minions are definitely a problem. Let me just kite the boss over here real quick. We Wait, it doesn't seem like it fires off at all sometimes. There's something weird about that. Hmm. Okay, don't don't do that. It's fine. We're still in the good fight. We're still in the good fight. Just having to do some weird adjusting. But Noitz is all about adapting. Adapt, overcome. I think I saw some damage in there. We're at 229,000. Luckily the boss's own projectiles can like, can like hurt him. There's some fucking polymorphine shots. Yes, the boss does shoot polymorphine shots at a certain point. The, the acid stuff lags like crazy. We gotta get rid of these polymorphine shots. I can't shoot a black hole while they're there because it, 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 it could pull it into my character. Oh my god. So we've got him down like a 25%. That's not bad. That's respectable. Oh my god. No, 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 no. It's These guys are ruining my life. I wonder if I should take homing off of it. I, I can't tell. It also doesn't help that I don't have a... Uh... I don't have electric immunity. What are these guys doing? Oh, shit. Alright, give it a moment. Give it a moment. Let the fight kind of chill a bit. Let it marinate. Just don't shoot any poly at me. No, 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 no. I definitely cannot shoot any black holes or anything. It will pull in the polymorphine shots so fast. Huh. I wonder if I should swap over some, some of my build a bit here. No! I hate those polymorphine shots so much. Chaotic poly shots, I should say. Oh my god! These enemies, I wasn't paying attention to them. The, the homing could have like got like brought back into me. That would have been a big problem. Oh, here we go. Having to be careful here. Oh, come on, these enemies are just so annoying. What a frustrating fight. Oh, oh, oh. That enemy pulled it in. We're getting around the half health. Look at this. Look at this fucking health bar just tanked for something. It's like a late pool of polymorphine or something. Oh, there are. So I'm trying to leave terrain between me and the boss so that the polymorphine shots won't kind of catch me with my pants down. There are, pix yeah, there are pixels of poly all over the place. Oh my gosh. Oh my. The tiny enemies being all over, that's that's the real problem. You just eat them up real quick. Hmm. 
I'm using like my tele wand to like take him out. Ooh. Nope, 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 nope. I think anytime I kill some of them, he just summons in more. Stop! Get your little enemies away! Oh no! His health bar just tanked right there. Look at look at that! Look at that! Is he swimming in it? I don't know what he's doing. I don't want to check. But he just swam in that shit. I'm not sure if it makes any sense to kill these off, because I don't know if he just is like, oh, he just killed three of them, summon in three more. I, I'm not sure how it how it does that. Oh, there's polymorphing shots right there. Got a couple good shots on him on that one. A little bit of lag with it too. There is so much polymorphine. Oh no. I don't know, I ran out of levitation. It just shot like Polly on top of me, I think. What the hell? Look at this. Watch this. You see that? What was that? We caught. I think it's because it caught my projectiles and it threw them back. And look right here. You just see some. There, it looks weird. It's kind of hard to see, but there was a trail of it right on top of my character of Polly. Whew. You know, just a quick swim in some polymorphine. No big deal. Here we go, here's the one. Don't fall into any poly juice here. Yes! Yes! Not so bad, right? It was laggy as heck. The, this, this strategy for killing Komi is definitely laggy. Like whenever, whenever all the poly juice is flowing, it just like lag spikes. There is pools of poly everywhere. Get me out of here, man. <laughs> Woo. And look right there. Feels good to be king. Oh, if only that landed like perfectly on top of my character's head. The king. No, oh, come back. I need you. Uh, king should be for the, uh, it's a, it's a 12 orb trophy, right chat? I just did this recently. I did an all trophies run and our all, to all trophies stream. And I'm already forgetting my trophies. I believe this right, is well, the 12 orb trophy. See this guy right now. He is Which we are at 12 orbs. Boom. 350,000 gold. No problem. And we got to go where the gate, the, the, the gate, <laughs> the god gamers, <laughs> right, well, you guys where the god guy gamers right go to, go to die. The gape gamers? Oh god, no, not the gape. Where the god gamers go to die. Let's do it. The gay godders? The god gamers. Words are hard. 
Gape Gaming? Oh, oh, no, not like this. Crabster, Crabster, thank you for the eight month resub. Thank you for using that prime. Am I on TV now? May I greet my future VOD me? Uh, future VOD Crabster, Crabster, past, past Crabster says hello. And also, whatever you do, don't eat that leftover chicken. Courtesy of past, wait, no, future Crabster. Wait, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> My brain. Wait, how, the past one's talking to the future. It'd have to be the future one warning the past. It's too late, you already ate the chicken. You have food poisoning, god damn it. I tried to save you, Crabster. It's too late. <laughs> the food poisoning's already set in. Put down the chicken. Uh, Plant Game, thank you for the gifted sub as well. Hell yeah, Plant Game. Um, oh yeah, who's the one that said let's fucking go? Teddy Roll, let's fucking go. Don't believe his lies, YouTube. Chat, this is the one time, this is your one chance. You've been degenerate today. Every time I've showed chat on stream, can we at least get some GG's for the YouTube community and my first ever polymorphine kill on Colmy? Can we get some love, chat? Thank you guys. I see the GG's. I appreciate. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. Most of you is not DJ. Look at so YouTubers don't judge. There's a couple of them that are DJ, but the most of them, most of them are good peeps. So if you're out there, you're watching the YouTube VOD, uh, just know that, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. This is why we can't have nice things. God damn it. <laughs> Please don't judge. Don't judge them YouTube community for that one chatter's sins. Jumping into the, to the dark sun. There it is. Woo. Uh, Mamilia says, my first time watching you on Twitch. Thanks for uploading to YouTube. Hey, thank you for stopping by the Twitch live stream. And thank you for being part of our uh, community, both on YouTube and on Twitch. That was on screen so long, I actually woke up. <laughs> what? I don't, I don't even want to know. I don't even want an explanation. There it is. Win number 1,716. For all the YouTube watchers, VOD watchers, thank you guys for going uh, or for coming along with us on that journey today. And um, if you enjoyed this, let me know. Uh, I will be asking my Twitch chatters to see if it was anything of interest. If it was like whatever, then uh, you always come up with different kind of challenge runs, right? And this is just one I hadn't done. And it does seem like... You know, with the way that the devs set that, the way that, that polymorphine, the polymorphine kill on the boss at specifically 12 orbs, it's so, it's so specific, right? Like you would think there would be an achievement for it or just some purpose to it. But as far as I know, there was never a purpose added. Maybe one day the devs will change that. Maybe it will be an achievement. But uh, at the very least, I, I, I want to thank Vialet for suggesting it because I, I, you know, it's not very often that, you know, sometimes there's self-imposed challenges. But that one actually feels like it is a challenge that the dev kind of threw out, right? It's like, hey, Polymorphine can kill Colmia at 12 orbs, just so you know. So then you're like, well, shit, I, I got to try this, I guess. We're running low on ideas. So thanks for, for being a part of the journey. GG. And uh, I have to go unmute Dunkbot now because the Twitch chat is rioting. And I, I may be getting death threats. GG.